Stop it. Stop it in the mix up, boy. That's mine! Oh, I'm off the mark! Oh, Woo! Oh, oh, it for me. <laughs> oh, the thief! Got the set up. Watch this, look. Look. Hello everybody! Hello! Look at all these chats! Lots and lots of chats! Hello! How is everybody? Hello! Hello Swedish House! Hello Gumdio! Hello Raw! Hello Andreas! Hello to one and all! And Gumdio! I actually need to say hello to you twice because you tuned in last night, didn't you? I only, it was only a test. I literally tested it for about 13 seconds just to check that my uh, stream key was working. I didn't realise that you commented. So hello twice. And sorry I didn't respond because I didn't realise I was going to get a comment. And hello Ian Norris. And hello Horse. How are you doing? What a response. Thanks guys. Hope you're all well. Well, as you can see, I'm a lot happier now because my laptop has been sorted. It is so much better. I cannot tell you how much better it is. Hello Grand Cowie, how are you doing? A big big thank you to Right Retro Gaming, Anthony Jordan. He sorted my laptop for me and he's done a marvellous job. Absolutely marvellous. Basically what he's sort of done is he's kind of sort of put it back to factory settings. Um, because unfortunately sometimes Windows does upgrades or updates, sorry. And in this case it's really messed it up. And what probably didn't help is the fact I had so much information on my laptop, i.e. videos and photos and that sort of stuff. It just built up and built up and built up and the, the laptop just couldn't cope. It couldn't cope. So pretty much all of my videos, apart from about 10, have gone. Um, and I've had to change my outro as well. There's, there's a little tweak because some of the footage has got whacked. So there we go. But anyway, enough about me. How are you guys? Look at this chat. This is amazing. And, and, I've... You're not going to hear an echo this time. I've already posted it. I've posted it during the stream intro, which I think is quite a good idea. So while that's going, I don't have to do the echo business. Um, so there we go. Should be a lot better. Wow, look at these comments. Wowzers. So yes, I'm a lot better, I'm a lot happier now because I know it's working. And I was testing it last night and everything just works. It just works, it's just like that. There's no delays, there's no problems, there's nothing, nothing like last week. But anyway, this is the CD32 and I just realised there's something I had not done, I didn't do. Photos. I didn't put photos on here. Um, yes, so we are using the CD32. This is a CD32 stream and I'm using the riser. Now I was going to put some pictures of the riser, but I forgot all about it. Um, but it is there, it's active, and hopefully you can see a big difference in quality. It looks marvellous. It looks marvellous. I've wanted to do a CD32 stream for a while, but I just wanted to get that sorted because it was horrible. Uh, and if you watched my video of me doing the split screen of James Pond, hopefully you can see that there's quite a difference. The words were just unreadable in some of them, some of the old ones. You should use external drives for storage. Yes, I need to do something about it. But also what I'm going to do is, every time there's a video that I've finished with, like the video's uploaded and I don't need it anymore, delete it. Trouble is, I don't like deleting stuff, and I just kept, I, there was, there was, 
hundred plus videos, and a lot of them were just like testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Hello, Skinwalker. Hello, hello, hello. So a lot of those were probably weren't needed, but some of those videos were quite long. So it's just sitting there, draining my memory, draining my CPU, and boom. So there we go. Right now, this game was requested by Andreas. Now I did play it on a re on a, 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 a previous stream quite a long time ago. Um, but hopefully it will look a lot, a lot nicer this time. A lot nicer. Uh, I've picked a few more games. All my games are here. Now I don't have a large selection of games, but this is all I have here. They're all here. Um, I'm going to play this first. I'm going to play... Oh, God, blimey. For the second game, I'm going to play Marvin's Marvel's Adventure, which Rory mentioned the other day. It's a brilliant game, and this the soundtrack is absolutely awesome. So I'm going to play that second, and the third one, I kept changing it, changing it, changing it. I went from Skeleton Crew to All Terrain Racer, um, but I've decided to change it for a third time. And I'm going to play, if I can find it, if I can find it, where is it? There it is. For a third game, I'm going to play Shadow Fighter, which is a brilliant... Beat 'em up game. I don't think I've done a beat 'em up on my stream on my stream before. Um, so that'd be a first. And then anything else, I'm gonna leave it to the viewers. But I'm gonna have to read them out to you because you're not gonna know what what the, what I have. But anyway, let's play this awesome game. But anyway, how is everybody? How is everyone? Hope you've all had a good week. Hope everyone's good. Hope everyone's well. Awesome. Sorry, I haven't really read a lot of your comments there, guys. Good to hear that you're feeling better, Jamie. The tooth is better. As long as I take the tablets, that keeps the pain at bay. So, it will happen. The tooth will hopefully come out on the 18th of September. But until then, the pain must be con controlled by tablets. Uh, no, I don't use... Uh, no, I don't lose motivation. I work only on one project at a time, currently addressing sprite bugs. I'm liking everything you post, so exciting. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing more of Graham Cowie's um, games. I messaged him the other day, and he's got another one running um, that he's making at the moment. Uh, Rygar, is it? So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, cool, it's the best follow to EAB Thread, as I explain a lot of stuff there too. I don't know anything about the CD32, I'm interested in this broadcast. To be honest with you, um, it didn't do particularly well. And there weren't many games, new games, released. They did release a lot of games that have already been done, which is a slight tweak. Um, but unfortunately, it was a little bit, it was just too late. Commodore was, was going bust, and they released it, and unfortunately, not many new games got released. Um, Microcosm was one of the first, one of the new ones, which I do have. That's a very, very good game. Very, very difficult, though. Um, but that is good. But unfortunately, not many new games. Right, so anyway, enough chit chats. Let's play Disposable Hero. And I haven't held up the case yet. There we go. This is a brilliant game. And as you know, this is a shoot 'em up. And as you know, I like shoot 'em ups very, very much indeed. Shadow Fighter is is good. Yes, I've always I've, I've completed it once on hard, but I want to try and do it again. Whether it be today, I'm not sure. The Spider is a great game. I had it back in the day. Yes, right. Let's go, shall we? Now I'm using the joystick. I'm not using the control pad. So I'm uh, not playing it to its full potential. Now already there's a problem. I can't hear everything through my headphones. I think... Right, hold on. I think my headphone socket has probably come out of the TV slightly. The CD32 is basically Amiga 12 had a CD ROM drive and the Kaito chip, but still love mine a lot, though I love my Amiga 1200 more. Well, actually, I had a delivery today and it turned out to be just in time. Now, where have I put it? I got home from work, and this was on my doorstep. And I thought, what is that? What is that? I, don't, I, couldn't, I couldn't think for what I bought. And 
opened it up, and of course, but there you go, I bought the new uh, CD32 magazine, and to be honest with you, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger than that. That's what threw me off, because that is quite small, but that's actually come at the right time. It came on the, it arrives on the day of the CD32 stream, so that's good. That's very good. So I'll be having a look through that. Right, now I'm doing this on the normal difficulty. If you're going to do it on easy, you only get to play the first three levels, but apparently there are six levels. But as you can see, it looks brilliant. Graphics are so much better with that riser. So a big thank you to Anthony and um, Steve, 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 Steve. Oh my God, what is his name? Steve, 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 what's his second name? He'll come to me in a minute. Yeah, it just, it just looks so much better. Why I didn't buy a riser a long time ago, I don't know. I think I sort of kept thinking, you know, it's going to be a difficult thing to set up. It's going to be soldering sort of stuff, which I'm not good at. As it turned out, there was no soldering whatsoever. It was just take the back plate off, unscrew it, and then place it, and boom! As long as you've got the correct leads, you're in business. Top shooter this. Yes, it's a very good shooter. Great soundtrack, great, great graphics, great sound effects. But very, very challenging. But I don't like playing these sort of games on the control pad. So that's why I'm going for the joystick. And of course, it's the zipstick. It's got to be the zipstick. Boom! The problem is, because I'm using a joystick, I'm not going to be able to pause it. So I'm going to have to go into the shop to pause it to read the chat. So that is a problem. That's what you get for using different uh, controllers, I guess. Right, if you wait there, you actually avoid the laser. So let's go into the shop and see if we get any new weapons. Uh, nice game, nice. This is is this game on the Mega 500 as well as the Mega 1200? I don't think it is on the 500, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Yes, lovely picture. Yes, it is an. Uh, oh, it is, is it? OCS game, believe it or not. Oh, hello, Sun Lloyd. Hello, hello. Yes, I watched your stream the other day. That was quite entertaining. I'm amazed, I'm amazed this is a shoot 'em up that looks fair. Oh yes, because you're not a big shoot 'em up fan, are you? Um, looks like an AGA game. Uh, those items you collected don't seem to do anything. What it does is, you've got some of the... Um, you, you can collect health, you can collect lives, but you have to collect those weapons which, up, which will um, increase that. It's like research, you've got to do research on the weapons, like, um, well you've got to build them up, so you've got to buy things to, to, to earn more weapons. Once they're available, you can see there's a time, I think there's a time there, so I, these ones I can't get yet. So once they're available, you can equip them, but that's what the icons do. But this one's not available yet, this one is. So it's slightly different. 1993 must be AGA. Yes, very nice. Zipstick. Oh yes, baby. Surely not nearly sure this was a 500. Hi, Somloy. Well, this is the CD32 version. But now I have a weapon upgrade. But yes, that's what the power-ups do. You don't actually get the, the weapons as you pick them up. You have to collect them and it builds up the uh, um, let me know how to explain it really research I'm gonna go for research it's quite a good word right this is the end of the first level however my ship is smoking smoking that's the end of the first level Take a breather. Woohoo! 
Um, Swedish House, hi, that was the musical project you were always, I can't read that, telling me about. I wanted to play it on the stream, but I forgot. Yes, I actually watched uh, one of Son Loy's streams the other day and actually heard his voice. Well, it, well, I tried to hear his voice, but there's a lot of planes going over on that stream. But it was really entertaining. Really entertaining. And he was playing something I've never even heard of. It was, um, the, was it Project 52 or something like that? It's basically SNES. Is it Project 32, 52? Right, I've now got a three-way. Can I get that as well? Was that asking a bit too much? No, she can't put too much. It overloads. Just checked Hall of Lights. 1993 OCS ECS 1993 release. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know if there was any improvement for the CD32 though. That's the problem. Hello, for oh hello, Forex. Welcome, welcome, back well to my stream. <coughs> really appreciate you tuning in. I did see your comment on Light Retro Gaming, but I didn't see it until when I played it back when I got home. But I did see that you said that you was going to pop on, pop on the stream. Welcome. Playing Disposable Hero. This is on the CD32. It's awesome. One thing you should know about me, I love shoot 'em ups. You can't go wrong with this. Action 52. Well, I got it wrong, didn't I? I got the 52 right. Yes, normally we go out Friday, but wife's at her sister's tonight. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm very pleased. Very pleased you've tuned in. I've, I've watched quite a lot of your videos, but one thing about me is I'm not particularly technical. I can't really fix things. I'm not good at fixing stuff. I can take things apart, but I can't get them back together. Right, I need some energy because my ship is going to blow up. It's smoking. Really cool artwork. Right, let's put the first question on, shall we? Because we've got a lot of viewers here. Okay, first question. And that is... That's the first time I've done that. What are your favourite Amiga CD32 games? Unfortunately, there isn't lots of them. Um, so there's not a lot to choose from. But have a go. What are your favourite Amiga CD32 games? Ah, health has gone up slightly. Okay. I did know that. Know that. I did spot that. But I'm thankful for it. Oh, there's a life down there. Sometimes they're a bit difficult to get to or difficult to see, but they are there. Another thing I do like about this game, even though I'm a huge shoot 'em up fan, um, when you're shooting, your gun doesn't make a sound. And that's actually quite a good thing, because sometimes if you're playing a game and you're constantly shooting all the time, you all keep hearing this pew 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 Sometimes it can get a little bit too much. But this one makes no sound. Jamie, at some point, will you be adding Transplant to your gameplay list? It is a awesome shoot 'em up. Transplant. What's Transplant? Is that on the Amiga or the Amiga CD32? Sensible Soccer, yeah? Oh, Flink. I want to play Flink. I really want to play Flink. Really want to play Flink. But I w that is going for stupid money on eBay. Really stupid money. I messaged Rory yesterday. One of them is going for about £720. That's a little bit too extreme. But yes, what is this uh, transplant? Alien Breed Tower Assault. Also good. Alien Breed Tower Assault. Good. Also 
a steel sky. I've got tower salt. That's good. Um, but even steel sky. Beneath the still sky, I've got that. Unfortunately, I've got a problem with that because it gets to a certain point and then it, it crashes. It crashes every single time I play it. And I don't know why. But yes, I'll look into it. If it's possible to do, it's probably not going to be possible to do on the CD32 unless it's a one you got to buy, of course. I'm always up for playing different games. I bought a few this week. I bought quite a lot this week, actually. I'll tell you in a minute. This is actually one of the best goes I've ever had. I don't think I've actually died yet. But I've said it now, haven't I? Probably going to die now. Now I've said that. But yeah, this is the best go I've ever had. But mind you, the joystick is probably helping with that. Alright, next boss. I think I have jinxed it. He's close to death, and so am I. Woo! He's going down to the wire, guys! Woo! Yes! Look at my health! Look how low that health is! My word! Hey, 4X, you, ha you have obviously been playing this game before. I've played it before, yes. Uh, not played it for a while, though. A good few months. But with shoot 'em ups, I always want to try and complete shoot 'em ups. I was playing, I was, I was playing Project X the other day as well. I'm still struggling on that. I get to level four. I can't get past level four. Right, watch out for the mines. They explode if you get too close. Ah! Well, that was a good run. That was a very good run. Speaking of good goes, excellent Bruce Lee 2, by the way. Ah, oh, cheers. Took a long time to do that, didn't it? Because my joystick broke. If you've got a CD32 if you've got a CD32 Mini, or you're going to get a CD32 Mini, be gentle with that joystick. I've been saying that. I was being gentle with it, and it still broke. But there we go. That's... History now, that's in the past. I've got a brilliant joystick now, thanks to Anthony Jordan. Right, this bit is difficult because you've got that fan. It's constantly blowing you upwards. Energy. Okay. Whew! Uh, that game, uh, um, that game, very addictive, nice Jamie. Uh, what system did you play this on? I thought that you only just recently bought... No, 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 what I've bought recently is the Mega CD. No, sorry, the Mega 1200. There we go, guys. I've, I've announced it. I have bought myself an Amiga 1200. It cost me <coughs> 345 quid. And I don't care. Do you know what? I just don't care. Yes, it's a lot of dough, but it's something I've really wanted, wanted to get, and I bought it. So I've worked. I've been working hard at work. I've got myself a promotion. Everything is going awesomely well. So happy. I've got the money and I thought, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. So I bought it the other day. So yes, that is on the way. Unfortunately, it's coming all the way from Northern Ireland. So it's probably not going to be here until probably the, late, the 
end of next week, I imagine. But you never know. You never know. Um, Ian Norris, hope I got very f excited for a minute. Ha 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 ha. I only missed Anthony in that video. Aha. Uh -huh. After watching three hours live stream Bruce Lee 2, watched full stream and really missed Andy in Bruce Lee 2. Yes, unfortunately, he wasn't there in the long play. Um, Mega 12, the best machine ever. Wow, 8200. 8200, welcome to the club. Nice to be here. Uh, yes, I'm a bit of fanboy. Sorry. I'm only... It's only money, Jay. Of course. Of course. Of course. Right, we have another ship. I'm going to stick with this one for now. So as you can see, you do research, you collect the, it the items, and more ones become available. You bought an A1200 from, from Northern Ireland? Yes. It's immaculate. It's like... Ugh, perfect. Perfect working condition. It looks amazing, and it's got loads of games. It's got, actually, it's got a thousand games already built in. Uh, so yes, I'm really, really happy. I just blew up. I drew, flew into the wall. That was my first death, wasn't it? Sure it was. The bubble was going to burst eventually. It was always going to bubble. Pop the bubble. Okay, we're doing this the hard way. Look at my health. It's flashing. Do I have a turbo? I, have, I don't know. It's got quite a few things in it. It doesn't have a GoTech. Um, I'm not sure at the moment. I hope so. I think so. Possibly. Blow this thing up again. Oh dear, the bubble has popped. Is that like a fast loader? I have no idea. Slightly more health this time. I hope so. But then, it's the first I heard of it. The fast loader that is. Well, no, the turbo, sorry. I mean, loading times is not, is not an issue anyway. Compact flash card. It has. It's got something like that. I don't know, to be honest. I'm really not sure. It's got so much description to it. Um, I'm sure it's fine. Boom. Okay. Going well. Unfortunately, I've only got one life. Open the door, open the door. We have health, but life is what I need, though. You don't have to shoot everything. Just avoid it if you have to. Look at that gun. Boom! Right, I've got back my tea. Yes, guys, this is like, this is the first of nine things that are going to arrive. I've bought nine items. Oops. How did that happen? <laughs> Let's see if I remember what they are. I bought that. I bought the 1200. I've bought uh, a dust cover for it. I bought 30 pounds worth of hammer beads. Uh, I've bought, this is football on PlayStation 1, for the football stream that's going to happen in the future. I've bought Fire and Ice on CD32, because that one doesn't work particularly well. I've bought Galencia on CD30, uh, on C64, which is a boxed version. Uh, I've bought Tarakun as a boxed version, the first one, which is fantastic quality as well. Um, I've lost count, I've lost count. 
probably a few more things as well. Oh, and of course, I also bought myself a custom-made frame for my intro disc as well. All that work I spent on it, and it's just been held up by blue tack. It doesn't look that great. It needs to be in a frame, like my other one is. So I bought that as well. <clears throat> so I bought quite a few things, and why not? Like 4X said, it's only money, isn't it? Bills are getting paid, of course. But we, we, we work hard, so we must treat ourselves as well. Right, this is the boss of this level. It, yes, it has. I've actually bought myself, I've also bought myself a new doorbell. I was getting fed up with a postman not ringing the doorbell. So, hopefully now, I can hear them ringing the bell. Which is before, they weren't. And I was getting fed up with them keep putting cards through my door when I'm actually in. Boom! Yeah, boy! Right, this is actually the furthest I've ever got. Screen got a bit... Screen got a bit blurry, or was it just me? I hope not. Don't think so. Right, I have never attempted this level before. This is a first. Work, play, hard, sorry, work hard, play hard, Jamie, yes. The bo bosses really look original, I think. Does the, does this have, no, it doesn't have a limited continues, no. No, it doesn't have. Right, we have a new ship. Do I change it? But then there's hardly anything there, look. Hardly anything available for it, there's no point. No, no continues. Sorry, yeah, um... No, it's just one, one, one attempt, I think. I don't think there's any continues at all. To be honest. But there's only six levels. I mean, this is level four. Right, collect that. Health. I'm playing a lot better this time than the last time I played it on stream. So thank you to Andreas for suggesting it. Oh. Should go that way really, shouldn't I? Right, last life. Oh, that is the last life. That's a, that's a, that, that, that's game over. There you go, there's the confirmation. No, no continues. Well, to be honest, uh, the previous owner who lived here, they've got a doorbell. However, the doorbell only goes ding. It doesn't go dong. But the trouble is, where the doorbell is, people don't see it. They just go knock, knock, knock. But there's two doors. I've got a porch. So they're probably knocking on the outside door. And I can't hear it because they're not pressing the doorbell and they're not knocking hard enough. Uh, so that's what tends to happen. They keep leaving a card in my door when I'm actually indoors. But next week, yes, the postman's going to be rather busy. So hopefully I will be here to sign for them all. I think I have to buy a CD32. Why not? Go for it. Make sure you get a riser though, I recommend it. Well, I never got this far. Never seen this. Cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get any further. I do apologise, Rory. Yes, but these are expensive. Good effort, Jamie. Well played. Thank you. <clears throat> so there we go. I think that's going to have to be a future long play, don't you think? <clears throat> I, di I didn't get the high score, though. I didn't get the high score. Right, should we put Marvin's Marvelous Adventure on? Because that's a game I haven't played for years. <clears throat> has anyone heard of this game before? I know Rory has. It's brilliant. The only thing I don't like about it... <clears throat> There's no sound effects. No sound effects. But the soundtrack is brilliant. Uh, just put just put outside and when they pull his towel, he's meow, and you hear that. Someone on the door. 
He's actually been really, really sociable lately. He's been really, really clingy, clingy. Uh, because I'm guessing it's getting colder outside, <clears throat> he spends more time in the living room with me. <clears throat> so it's nice to see him. But also, what he's been doing at the last few nights, I've been sitting here, and I get thinking, right, I must go to bed now, I must go to bed. He'll come in, he'll, he'll lay on my lap at like sort of 12 o'clock at night, I've got to go to work the next day. You've had all day to sit on my lap, and you do it when I'm just about to go to bed. <clears throat> Never mind. I love him, though. Right. So that is Disposable Hero, and I have not finished it there. I'm going to try and complete it one day. Jamie, yes. A long play of Disposable Hero would be awesome. Yes. I totally agree. In this game... Um, I don't know how far you've got, Rory, but I've got to the last level. Have you got? How far have you got? It is so difficult. Um, it's like some, you're in some kind of tunnel, and you've got these uh, like torches, but only part of the screen is lit up. So the, most of the screen is actually black. So there's spikes, there's enemies, you can't see them. All you can see is these little random little spots of light. It's really difficult. You've got to go through these pipes as well. But anyway, 21st Century Entertainment. Now guys, this is quite a loud, bassy soundtrack. Especially during the, the gameplay. So let me know if it is too loud and I'll adjust it. Jamie, I'm not sure... Uh, but got stuck on that level. Basically, the story is you're a pizza delivery boy. Infernal Bite Systems. Ever delivered pizza to the far side of another dimension? Now's your chance. In his marvellous adventure, Marvin has one of the most vital jobs in any civilised society. He delivers pizzas. Marvin needs to help, needs your help to take the pe pepperoni and cheese deluxe through five cracking worlds of bad, bad monsters, traps, puzzles, sub games, and end of world bosses. Let's hope he gets a good tip. And I've got a good idea. Hold on a second, guys. Actually, I'm gonna. Right, Marvin is a pizza delivery boy. I just happen to have a Domino's hat because I used to work for them. Uh, so we are now a pizza delivery boy for real now. Not sure what level, probably not far. Hey, it's Friday. Pizza night for you, isn't it? Yes, pizza night. This game set me in a good mood. So colourful and nice graphics. Right, I need to plug in my control pad for this. Where's my controller? Yes, I used to work for them. Um, that was quite a while ago. But I was actually doing two jobs at the time. I was doing my main job. Ah, Victor Samoya. Hello, welcome. This is the original CD32. It's not been adjusted in any way. The only thing I've put on is the riser. The riser. Which basically makes the quality a lot nicer. A lot nicer. But there we go. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this hat, it's because he's a pizza delivery boy. <laughs> Suddenly there's a knock at the door. Marvin the pizza delivery boy has arrived. I didn't read that in time. We need to adjust this screen, don't we? I tested this last night. It actually fits in there very, very nicely. It's nice and square. Right. 
also from Hungary, yes, oh really, okay. I went to Hungary a long time ago. I went to Budapest, but that was working. That wasn't holiday, it was working. How are you? I like your icon. It's Amiga. I like it, Nat. Great soundtrack. Right. Does it sound alright? Let me know if it is too bassy, because that is understandable. It's a very bassy soundtrack. I don't know how long I play it for, but it's a very, very long game. Yes, um... Victor, tell me, a bit more, tell me a bit more about yourself. You're obviously an Amiga man. Right, now this is a tutorial. Now I do mo I do know most of the controls anyway, so I'm not going to go through all, the tu all of the tutorial. But as you can see, it's a side-scrolling platformer. Your character is quite small. Audio is alright. Cool. I think my headphones is not plugged in properly because I got a little bit of a, a funny sound to it. Now the reason why I'm checking on the, the audio is because my old TV, I had, I, I had an old Sony TV, and when I played this game, the music was so bassy that the TV actually couldn't cope. It really couldn't cope with the sound, it was just too noisy, too bassy. I'll never forget that. So I actually couldn't play it because the TV couldn't play the soundtrack. Too bassy. Right, it's the beginning of the adventure. Right, I'm now using this one now. I can't do it with Joyce pa the tip stick because you need more than one button. I'm from here. Ain't Amiga Mania Magazine Hungary. Oh, wicked stuff. Amiga baby. Amiga all the way. Amiga for life. Commodore for life, should we say. I do like Commodore 64 as well. Right, let's see if I can try and remember. Apples add energy. Suns is weapons. Moons, uh, if you collect 20 moons, you get an, uh, a companion that helps you out. And stars, if you collect a certain number of stars, you get an extra life. I think it's 50 stars. There's no time in it, which is awesome. Never heard about it. Right, should we put the second question on? Once again, it's gone a bit wrong. There we go, it's a bit small this one. Uh, what games do you think should have been released for the Amiga CD32 with extras? Now the reason why I put that is because even though there wasn't many new games released for it, they did release a lot of games again that was already released on the Amiga 500, 1200, etc. Um, some games they just released it with nothing new. It was exactly the same except it was just on disc. Some games did have different soundtracks, or perhaps an intro, or stuff like that, but unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of difference. So, what games do you think should have been released on the CD32 with extras? I mean, I can think of a few. I mean, there were some games that were released, which was a bit of a surprise, they released it, to be honest with you. And there are some games which is very, very surprising that they didn't release it. I mean, this is a, this is a classic example. Um, International Karate Plus. It's on Amiga and, Ami and Amiga CD32. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever. The graphics are the same, the sound is the same, the music is the same, there's no intro, there's no outro, there's nothing. It's exactly the same. So, it's a shame. Agony, yes, yes. 
the loading times is a bit bad on that game. I'm gonna have to sort my, I'm gonna have to sort these headphones out. They are not good. Hold on. It was a little bit snap, crack and pop, to be honest with you. See, these headphones are struggling a little bit with the bass. Aimbury Trilogy was enough space on the CD for all three games. Yeah, they had two, didn't they? They had one and two. I picked up the wrong joystick, I picked up the joystick by mistake. Right. I mean, they did, they, they, they did, um... I'll find it. I mean, it's like that, for example. You got Speedball 2. I've got that on the CD as well. They did change it slightly. The colours were different, um, but that was that's all they did. But at least it was something. It's just a shame that uh, that wasn't the case with all of them. I mean, I would love to see a Zen on two on. Uh, on CD32, I mean possibly have a, an intro, or possibly have more music. R-Type, I think that would be good as well, that, that could have had an intro. Um, it's just a shame really. However, I still love it though. Yes, Mortal Kombat, yes, that would have been good. I mean that is a great game. It's a little bit slow on the uh, on the Amiga. That's the only problem. And if it was on the CD32, you wouldn't have all that disc swapping. I mean, disc swapping isn't really an issue, but with that game, it is a little bit of an issue because you've got to keep. Ch you've, have you got to change about three or four, sort of two or three times in between each fight? Ah, Groove Meditation! Hello! Hello! Thank you for tuning in again. Really appreciate it. Really, really means a lot when you tune in. I mean, it really means a lot that everyone tunes in, but I know you're an extremely busy man, and it really does mean a lot to me. Um, Syndicate Upgrade would have been a call on CD32. I don't own Syndicate. I know NC Jordan likes it. Uh, Jamie, Agony, really, Agony really cuts down the loading times a lot. You should try and make a play for Blood Money. How hard is that game? That is really tough. If you want me to, I will, but that is really tough. Really tough. I mean, I do love my shoot 'em ups like you know. Um, Blood Money, that is tough. Uh, hi, Jamie. CD32, awesome. I need to get this one. I spy. Nice t-shirt. Yes, I bought this just after I completed the game with no cheats. Still a nice feeling. I still can't believe I did it. The Guru Meditation man. So nice to see you. Hi Guru. Hi Swedish house. The Guru Meditation. Have you played this game? Yes, of course, Jamie. You are doing a great job, dude. Thanks for keeping Amiga alive. That's what we do, baby. That's what we all do. We are all big, huge Amiga fans. Um, yes, of course, Jamie. You're doing a great job. Uh, I'm surprised there's such a magazine being printed here. More obscure than the Lovecraft fandom. No, I haven't, War. You haven't played this, no? Ah, oh, awesome. <clears throat> Amiga Bill, if you're wondering why I've got a Domino's hat on, this guy is a pizza, is a pizza delivery guy. <laughs> so he's actually delivering pizzas, but he has to go... This is like one extreme pizza delivery. But I used to work for Domino's, in case you're wondering. A long time ago. But this guy is not part of Domino's. I don't know what firm he's, he's, he works for, but it's not Domino's, I promise you that. But yes, uh, Mega Bill, all my CD32 games I've got here, they're all on discs. I don't have anything downloadable or anything like that. It's all hardware. This game looks fun. It is good fun. Great soundtrack as well. Some aspects of it are very similar to Mario, but then that was the case with quite a lot of games. But, um, platformers and shoot em ups is the way to go. For me, anyway. Right, collect the stars. I think, I think it's 
50 gets you an extra life. I mean, this isn't going to be a long play on this stream because it's a very, very long game, but if I'm going to do a long play of it, that might be quite a long video. But with the hours I'm doing at work now, it makes it possible. A lot more. Great job with the wardrobe. <laughs> it was interesting working for him. The only thing I didn't like about working for Domino's is you've got to use your own car. And my car was working perfectly when I first got the job, but over the years, it wasn't doing my car a lot of good. It was piling on the mileage. So that was one of the reasons why I left. Plus the money wasn't particularly good either. Grid of Meditation, you should try this and Disposable Hero. Unfortunately, uh, Amiga Bill, you missed Disposable Hero if you have not tried that either. Graham Cowie, Geezer in the house. I'm great, thanks man, how are you? Victor, I'm not an Amiga boy myself, but I'll check out the site. Of course. Um, and Somloy does streams as well, check them out, they're funny. Um, the one I was watching the other day, they, I must have heard about 20 planes go past. It's almost like he was streaming outside. Um, but he was playing something I've never seen before. And he's actually, he does speak extremely good English. Really good English. Really, really good. I understand, ev I understood every single word he said. So fair play to the guys, brilliant. Uh, Raw, um, well I'm going to have to watch this. Guys, I'm actually over the moon with these comments. Really means a lot. There we go, those are the moons. Now those actually attack the enemies. So it actually does you a favour. They've got big massive teeth. So as you can see, a lot of things are like Mario. I'm making a new game which also works on CD32. Oh really? I'll have to check that out. Uh, RPG. 256 colours. Excellent. I'm celebrating my 16th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations! Happy anniversary to you. My wife and is going out. Her nails done so I can sneak a few minutes to watch Jamie and hang out with you guys. Awesome. And happy anniversary. My word, 16 years. Please try and make a Blood Bunny playthrough. It's one of it's one you can do. I'll try. It's tough as hell, I know. When's your Mega Next week, hopefully. When will you be here? I hope so, yes. I hope so. Anthony's going to come out. Uh, Anthony messaged me this morning. He said, don't you open that before I arrive. He's going to be here when I when I'm open it. Uh, I said, all right, I won't open it. So he's going he's gonna to drive up from Sittingbourne to see me open it. Because he's got one as well. Right, if you kick that, move it along, and fire! Yeah, if it arrives by next Friday, I'll do it next Friday. If it if it's a little bit too tight, then I'll probably leave it to the, the month, uh, week after. But it will definitely be done. And I'm going to do a pinball stream as well, because that, the Amiga 1200 allows me to play some of these games I have never played before. Quite a lot of pinball games are AGA, apart from, I mean I've got Pinball Fantasies, got Pinball Dreams, they're fine, but there are other ones that are AGA and unfortunately I can't play them. Uh, yeah, sounds interesting, the group meditation, you, uh, you dedicated man, congratulations on 16 years of pain. <laughs> I'm sure it's not pain. I'm sure it's not pain. Uh, I've only reached 10, congratulations. I, I'm, well, I was eight years, but we're not together anymore. I'm not going to bore you with that. No, I can't, I can remember that cannon. Yes, but the URLs don't work this chat. No, unfortunately, links and stuff doesn't work. I don't know why. So I apologies for that, people. Right, we're in a boat. It's good thing this game has no time limit. It's awesome. Because it allows me to read the chat. You and Anne should stream your yeah, possibly. I don't know what he has in I don't know what he has in mind. <clears throat> it won't be a long stream, because I'll be too keen to open the box. Uh ha, Graham Perry, I'm a gluten for punishment. Thanks, Gumdio. Slam tilt, yes. And also Pimble Mania is another one of my play as well. I've got that on the I had that on the PC. <clears throat> 
But also, if it's going to be a pinball themed stream, I won't be playing just Amigas because I've got lo loads of pinball games. But now my, my laptop has been sorted, it shouldn't be an issue when it comes to switching over game systems. There's some awesome ones on the PlayStation. <clears throat> Uh, if he does, well, if he does, I'll be looking at it as well. Uh, Amiga 1200 Slam Tilt Stream. Well, it's not just, it's not just to be Slam Tilt, it'd be lots of pinball games. Rory actually mentioned it quite a while ago. I have a highest score on Night of the Demon that no one can beat. I like a challenge. I like a challenge. Victor, I thought you just misspelt issue. I don't know, there's so many comments, I can't get up with it. It's insane. But awesome, guys. Right, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? It's 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Swedish time, and what time is it in the USA? I'll play this for about another, I don't know, 10-15 minutes, and I'll put the next game on, which is going to be Shadow Fighter. I don't think I've actually done a proper beat-em-up on stream before. I've played Arcade Plus on a stream, but not actually a proper, a proper beat-em-up. I know, I know IK Plus is a proper beat em up, but you don't have different fighters, do you? <clears throat> 4pm. One day, Amiga Bill, I'm going to go to New York City. I've always wanted to go to New York City. I'm actually very, very jealous that you're in New York City. And all these places you keep visiting that's got Amiga, that's making me want to go even more. I do need to get myself an Amiga hat. I've got everything else, I don't have an Amiga hat. Well, I've got a Commodore hat, but not an Amiga hat. I do like your one. Let the stars... And this game is, is awesome. It's not particularly difficult at the start, but believe you me, it does get very, very difficult later on. Oh, baby. Very much so. That last level, which I got stuck on. Boy, oh boy, did I get stuck. I was really stuck. Beer O'Clock. <clears throat> the, the magazine is up on a site called Issue. Beer O'Clock. The Green Meditation. Nice. Jamie, me too. We should get together. Go together. Yes, we're we're going. We are so going. You did play some beat 'em up before on stream. I can't remember that one. The Catman with the Catman. Catman, Catman. <clears throat> oh yes, um, yes. I played Fighting Force, didn't I, on the P like PlayStation One? Yes. Um. Hi, oh, hello, King Arthur. Welcome to my stream. Hello. Oh, look at my... It looks so much nicer today. Everything's working. My laptop's fixed. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. How are you doing? How's your week been? This is a CD32 stream today. A little bit of break for the 500, but not much difference really, is it, I suppose? It's still Amiga. Yeah, guys, I, wanna, I know it, I, I shouldn't have to do it, but I want to apologise for last week. Um, even though the start wasn't too bad, it was problems I was having off the camera, which you didn't see. But at the end, there was a major problem, and it did really, really mess it up. Uh, so with regrets, I had to end the stream early that, on that one, but I really didn't want to. But I wasn't getting anywhere, so I want to apologise for that. I know Rory has said... That it's no issue whatsoever. But to me, it was a bit of a frustrating moment. But not anymore. It's fine. It's fixed. And it's so much better. The only other game I know that has feature is Vice Project Doom. I'm trying to figure out how they did the parallel scrolling to this game. I will... That's weird. One of my hammer bees has just fallen off my wall. Wow, okay. What one is it? I can't... Hmm. That's weird. It's just fallen off. How random is that? Uh, 
Uh, Facebook, not Earth, it just, yes, the PS4 was correct. Uh, we went to New York City in 2007. I'm jealous of that! Good invitation, that was fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna pay weak, stressful, CD Fetching looks fantastic, makes me want to buy one. Do it! It was great! Oh, I'm gonna go to New York City one day. <clears throat> need to save up, need to get myself another passport, my passport's run out. <clears throat> I wanna meet you guys, I wanna meet everybody! You're all brilliant, every single one of you is awesome. Right, energy is not good, but apples do replenish health. And you can drop through the through the uh, the platforms. You press the button rap rapidly. You jump higher. Uh, pressing green does a kick, or if you've got the suns, it throws a sun. And you can also duck. <clears throat> There's lots of stuff. But my dad bought me, bought me this game a long time ago. I actually remember this level as well, so I guess I got... Well, the levels are quite long. There's loads of levels to each area. You do get a boss battle, but it's a long wait to get to it. But this level, this game area, sorry, the boss battle has about three bosses. You have a hammer, a burger, um, something else, I believe. Well, it might even just be two, I'm not sure. Right, look at all these collectibles. Yeah, some apples are good apples, and some apples are bad apples. It's the same with those chests. Some chests are good chests, some chests are not good chests. Some of them has, have hammers. You don't want to get killed by a hammer. You don't want to get killed by an apple either. Let's go through the door. <clears throat> I was talking about running while crouching. My password run also ran out. Sucks here. Only five years limit. Should be ten. Exactly. Ah, oh, now I know. They're all 64x sprites in the background. Ha, ah, very clever. Guru, where are you from? <clears throat> okay, never got to any boss battle. That is for sure. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know if I'm going to get there in time because, like I said, these levels are very, very long. But yeah, on this level, I think it's actually two actually. The first one is a hammer, and the second one is a big burger. If I can get there, I'll get there, but I don't know if I will. Because it's, it's, it takes a long time to get there. Oh, Jasper's here. Hello, Jasper. If you kick the trees, you get the apples. There you go, you got your little glimpse of Jasper there. Jasper the cat. Um, oh dear, has it been recapped? I think so, I, I do think so. I mean it looks brilliant, the condition is immaculate, but yeah I think it has, I think it has. Oh Jasper said, why are you cleaning your bottom? Mind you, you can't see it on the camera can you? Look there, that's the bosses. You've got a burger and a hammer. They're the first two bosses. Hello Jasper, he's saying hello to you. <laughs> right, let's see. It'd be nice to get to the boss battle, it'd be nice to sort of show you. All this for a few pizza deliveries, eh? I hope he gets, I hope he gets a tip. Pizzas might go a bit cold. I can try and rush through it, but I don't know if I'll get them in time. This is the world's smallest caterpillar. A man in person, 
Not real life. The internet is real life too. Hello, Jasper. So they're all saying hello to you. You're, you're more popular than me. All you've got to do is just put a joystick in your paw and you're the, the retro cat. There's nothing like hanging out with great people in real life, playing games, eating food, having a great time, etc. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Oh dear, that's my first death. I thought you can't swim. Well, it'd be well. You fall in the water. That's that's an instant death. I mean, jeepers! Sorry for my terrible typing. Meow! The guru uh, meditation, good points. I tried to attend a retro game show here in Norway. And it's so nice to meet people with common interests, and they are all very nice. Yup, there is nothing like it, Raw. It is such a good vibe. This is like my social, you know, I don't really have much of a social life anymore because of my hours that have changed at work. Um, but it's just a great, it's, really, it's just something I really enjoy doing. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, just, it's my social. And if I've had a bad day at work, it always cheers me up. Right, hang on. Did you have a nice time at the wedding? Yeah, it was okay. It, it was a bit strange in a way because, you know, going back to somewhere where I used to live, um, I mean, it, we had good times, but it was also bad times. Um, but I've worked in places I didn't enjoy working at, so there were some memories I didn't particularly like. Um, but it, it was weird going back. Um, but yeah, I saw a few friends, uh, and it was the friends that was on that um, that battle underground. Those th three people I was chatting to on there, it, it was that they were there. Um, but it was quite difficult to sort of socialise and because you know, the loud music and the booze and all that sort of stuff. And I wasn't there for very long. It was nice to see him, but it was a shame it wasn't for longer. But we are gonna we are gonna get back on the on the Xbox and hopefully there'll be more of those sort of videos. Why don't they release stuff like this on the PC? I never heard about this. Right. I don't think we're gonna see the boss battles. I think I really don't. I'll try and rush through it as quick as I'll try and rush through this one. I'll finish this level. If there's a boss battle, I'll carry on. If it's not, I'll put the next game on. Oh, hang on. Something here a bit different from what you are used to, especially the way out. Don't get confused and keep your eyes open. Of course. Keep your eyes open. I mean, I'd rather use a joystick, to be honest with you. Very much so. But you can't use a joystick for this one because you need more than just one button. Ooh. Hit by an apple. Kill the ant. You can actually roll. I can't remember how you do it. I think you crouch and you press green. No, you can't go down there. Right, I can't figure it out. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and fit as many games as I can. 
I can always play it again because it does save it. But I'm struggling at the moment because you do have a rolling ability. And you can actually roll over really tight areas. But I can't figure it out. I'm dying. There will be more CD32 streams, and there's definitely going to be a Mega 1200 stream. Oh my word, I'm dying all the time now. Uh, at least it... At least it is a good... Good to hear that you're keeping in contact. Well, yes, 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 yes. Unfortunately, the hours I'm doing now, it's very, very difficult to go up there and see them, because they don't work weekends, whereas I do. So that is really tricky. Oh my word. I can't figure that out. I don't know why that's not working. You're supposed to do a roll. Anyway, it's not working. More challenge. More challenge to play the game with eyes closed. Oh, do you know what? Shall I try that one day, shall I? Shall I try and complete a game with my eyes shut? <laughs> right. That's, my, that's, that's actually not a bad, not a bad shout. I might do something like that. Something different. <laughs> right. I think you... No, you can't run over them. You have to roll. You have to roll. You have to roll. You gotta roll with it. You gotta take your time. I can beat. Uh, I can beat color dinosaur. You can color a dinosaur with your eyes closed. Well, what? I'll have to do that one day, don't you think? I'll have to sort of pick a game that I'm really good at and see if I can finish it with my eyes shut, or possibly do a level with my eyes shut. Imagine that. I could do R type, the first level of R type with my eyes shut. My word, that would take some doing. Right, we are playing Shadow Fighter. It's a great game. Really great game by Grimling. Right, let's put the third question on, shall we? This is, again, it's probably going to be in the wrong position. Yes, it is. Order, move the top. There we go. If you could change anything about the Amiga CD32, what would it be? And if you want to put a Y, put a Y at the end. I mean, as you know, the Amiga CD32 didn't do very well. It was just too late. Um, I mean, it does have some flaws. It does have some problems. Some things are good about it, but if you had the opportunity to change something about it, what would it be? Right, this is... I need to adjust this picture. This is one problem with this C32, is that the screens are all different sizes. I haven't got one game. I can't find two games with exactly the same position. I see on live stream one guy almost beat punch it. Oh, really? What, the whole game? He did the whole game, did he? Right. This game, I've always tried to finish it on hard. I've done it once. But you get the true ending if you finish it on hard. I wish the bought games out that push the system rather than conversions from the computers. It should have fast memory, at least 2 megabytes, and it should have had a faster CPU. Maybe. 68030M5 megahertz and improved VGA, yes. More 3D capabilities. Yeah, I mean I've solved I've solved the um, the graphics issue. Um but yes, it needs more games. This the pad needs a little bit of work. I mean it is a good pad. I've got I've got the original pad somewhere.
Pardon. I mean, yes, I'm using I'm using this one. I'm using the um, the Competition Pro, um, but I do have the original one here, which I have to admit I do prefer. The only thing I don't like about it is that the directional pad tends to snap inside. So I I wish they could change that, and the, and that is the reason why I don't tend to use it because I'm worried about it snapping because it's very very fragile. And I think I have shown this on a previous stream, it was a long time ago, but I bought this on eBay a long time ago. And there's this one. It's basically the same design as a PS2, but it's with the CD32 buttons. So it works like a CD that's PS2, but it's the same buttons as a CD32. Which is good, it is good, but it's extremely rattly. The um the directional pad is diabolical, which is a shame because it's a good idea. It was a good idea, but it just that directional pad needs a bit of work. Hello, Jasper. But yes, so I think my ones were fixing the directional pad on the controller, uh, more games, newer games, or games that were released that had a little bit more to them, and the graphics, which I have sorted. Punch out blindfold. I'll watch it later on, or watch it tomorrow after work, or watch it tomorrow at lunchtime. Right, championship fight. Now this is the character, the only character that I'm, I can do. I am not particularly good at this game, but this character I can complete it with. I've only done it once on hard, but there are some really, really tough opponents. So let me know if the, if it's too loud, let me know. Something telling, telling me it could well be too loud. So there we are, I'm Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk from Denmark, he's age 24. Slam Dunk combines his mastery of basketball with expertise in all of the fighting arts. Electra, France, 19. Living on the streets, taught Electra the hardest and greatest rule of all, self-preservation. Hello, Peter! Hello! Hello! Where is Sweden? There might be someone from Sweden on here, I'm not sure. How are you, sir? I'm good, how are you, sir? How are you? Right, this is a CD32 stream today, and my laptop is working brilliantly. So thanks to Ansage for that. Right, the picture is still slightly out. Let's try and adjust this. Do you want to fight? Yes, I do. It's a bit better. I'm going to lock it in place so it doesn't move. Yes, really, thank you. Big, big thank you to, to Anthony. Um, Jimmy Neil Morgan, would it be cool to add you on my friend stream? Of course! Uh, announcements in my Discord. Hey, everyone who is online will get no vision when it went live. Yes, please do, mate. I really want to get my name mentioned. And, yeah, please do. Right, I am on the left. And I'm doing it on the hardest difficulty. The moves are very, very similar to Street Fighter. Yes, it does have a slight movement issue, uh, but it's a great, it's a great fighting game. Electra looks a bit strange. Well, she's electrified. It's understandable, I think. She has some crazy moves. Well, they all do, really. 
you get that move perfect, it does take away a lot of energy, especially if they're in the air. It takes away like that. What was the issue with your lap shot, Jamie? I think it was a combination of two things. The first one was Windows updates. Anthony had the same problem. It updates your laptop, but it doesn't necessarily improve it. It makes it worse. But also, I think there was just far too much stuff on my laptop. I had so many videos on there, and it was just draining my, my memory. It was putting a lot of strain on the CPU. So what he's basically done, he's, he's pretty much put it to factory settings. So a lot of my videos w disappeared. Um, but now it's working so much better. But also, as a result of that, I did lose some of my outro. So I've actually added some new footage to my outro. So that will look a little bit different. And also there's a different music tune. As I've mentioned in previous streams, let me know what songs you want on the outro. Because I'm changing it every single week. And, uh... The one I picked this week is one that Swedish House has recommended. Hopefully you can remember what one it was. Right, this guy is tough. That's some of that. Slam Dunk versus Cody. There is no porn whatsoever on my laptop. <laughs> Before and after. However, Ansi sends me quite a lot of bad stuff on WhatsApp. But he's a bad boy. A crazy man. But he's an awesome guy, and he's actually fixing cars at the moment. He, I don't know how he found his time to do it. Right, not going so well this time. It's first of two wins. I've always struggled with this guy. Always struggle with this one. The graphics look great in this game. It's a great fighting game, but it does have some really difficult opponents. And this one I've always struggled with. But every time you play it, it's always a different um, order to the fighters. Didn't think you want this one as a second fight, to be honest. But this move does take a lot of energy away. There we go. Woo! Sleepy time now. Can't wait. Slam tilt stream. Well, it's not going to be just slam tilt. It's going to be a pinball stream. So lots and lots of pinball games. Lots of, lots of that, and lots of shooting balls, and lots of bumping balls on the bumpers. Slam Dunk versus Salvador from Spain. I'm sure there is one from Sweden. I'm sure there is. And this game has great soundtrack as well. I think it's actually different to the original version as well. That's one of the things they did do for the CD32. They changed the music. You get a kick out of Anthony. He's a funny guy. He's a crazy guy, but he's a, he's a real smarty pants. He knows his, he knows his stuff. Perfect. Woo! I remember, but not think it would be an outro because you're using the video with logo ha making hammer beads. Yeah, I think you, you, I asked it about three or three, two or three weeks ago, um, some ideas for music, I won't tell you what it is, but you, I'm sure it was you that suggested it, but different each week. But 
But yes, if you're going Skinwalker, thanks for tuning in. Uh, nice magazine you have. Could not understand the text, of course, but the layout of the pictures looks very professional. Um, perfecto! Hello, Gumdio. Ant's cracking me up on his streams. Well, I was there the other day. Yes, he is a bit of a, a handful. The other day, he had his big and faithful lipstick. Doing some crazy stuff with his lipstick. Right, another difficult opponent. Manx. She dump, does jump very, very high. And she's very, very quick. And she has a lot of fire moves. Ooh. Probably I'm getting boxed into a corner. Ah, first win to Manx. Hi, Bill. Ant is a bit nuts, but we love him for it. I suppose we all are in a little way. All right, come on, Jamie. Doing this one the hard way. First one, second one. <laughs> I have to admit, this pad is quite good for the Street Fighter moves. No, I lost that one. Commando high score music. I can do that if you want me to. That can be a future one. All right, I've lost a continue there. Yes, he took it to London. I'm glad he didn't take it into the venue, because that would be embarrassing. Perfect. Why did I do that just now? My word. Perfecto. Can't believe it. Uh, he just forgot to grow up. <laughs> really live once. Be crazy. It's what makes Anthony him. Such a difficult character to beat. Blimey, threw me across the screen. Oh my word. Oh dear, struggling with this one. Uh, NC is, is watching, but he's fixing his car. He's actually got two cars he's working on, but he's actually working and watching the stream. But he did say he won't be commenting, but he will be watching. Come on, Jamie. Doing this the hard way. Yes! One more! Yes! Yes! Double perfect! 50,000 points! Hello, Graham! How are you doing? A little bit late, but it's no. But you're still here, which is a nice moment. Ah, oh, that's a new one. Captain Jonathan Archer. Hi there. Mega Bill sent me here, and I was told to say hi from him. More than just games. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Yes, Mega Bill is a legend. He's a great guy. Really great guy. <laughs> very nice of him to do so. Yeah, this is my stream. This is the CD32 stream. More than, Jane, more than just games is my name. Well, not my name, but it's my channel name. Jamie is my name, not my, not my first name's not Morgan, that's my surname. A lot of people get confused with that. 
Right, this music is quite loud. It's a great tune though, they're all good songs. Oh, he kicked me right in the stomach. How you doing, Graham? How you doing? I might have to shout on this one because this is quite a loud, a loud song. Not sure if you remember this game, Graham. I think we did play this in the old days, but probably not very much. Playing Shadow Fighter. Never played Shadow Fire. It's a great game. It's brilliant. Really, really good. It says on here, Shadow Fighter, possibly the best beat-up on the Amiga. Who needs Mortal Kombat 2 when you've got this? And I do love Street Fighter and I do love Mortal Kombat, but this is a great beat-em-up. But this is on the hard difficulty. If you complete it on hard, you get the true ending. I've only done it once. And that was a couple of years ago. But this is the only character I can do it with. I can't do it with anyone else. Nice to meet you. I love the CD32. Well, this arrived today. I bought, I bought myself the new magazine that arrived today, which is perfect timing. But yes, this is... My, con my computer is here, and all my c discs are over here. They're not copies. They are originals. And I love having the hardware. Right, Top Knot from Thailand. Still haven't found one from Sweden yet. I love my CD32 as well. I love my channel and I love all of you guys. Brilliant subscribers, brilliant viewers, you're all the best. The response today has been unbelievable. Brilliant. Right, I'm getting thrown around. Oh my word, he's beating me up good and proper. Oh my word, do this one the hard way. It's it's awful, this one is not great. But for this game, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I don't like using my other one though, because it's very, very fragile. The, the, the directional pad breaks. Especially with a game like this. I think this is the game I was playing when it broke the last time. Inside the directional pad, there's this clip. And it, it, it's a very, very weak bits of plastic and they snap. Ah, cheers Amelia Bill. Really appreciate it. Jonathan Archer. He's a Sagat clone, yes. A lot of the moves are very similar. But yes, he does look very much like Sagat. I think he actually does have an uppercut as well. There we go. All good here? Nice. He's still awake. Roy, he's still awake. Woo wee! I do love the music of this game. Lee Chen. Right, you mentioned the Sagat. This is very much like um, Chun Li, except he's a, he's a guy. <laughs> China, 25, a Kung Fu master raised in the mist surround, shrouded temple where he learned the heart to harness the forces of nature. Special skills, fiery hand spring, fist of falling sun, fire fist, fury spin, and falling nunchaku. Oh really, do you? Does he do handstands like this guy does? Has he got a flying nunchuck move? But yeah, you'll notice very similar to Chun Li. See, Chun Li does that with, with the feet, where he does it with the, or doing a handstand, which takes some doing. Did you create the CD32 gate scene, Mag? Did you, did you create the? No, I didn't create it. I wish I had, but I did. I did buy it though. 
I'd love to sort of be able to be more productive and do stuff like that and make games or test games, you know. This is going well. This guy is quite difficult. Have some of that, Lee Chen. Yeah, I haven't I haven't opened it yet. Uh, to be honest, I was quite surprised at the size of this magazine. I thought it was going to be a full-size magazine. But it's about the same height as my hand if I stretch out my thumb and my finger. Right, we have a mirror match. It's Slam Dunk versus Slam Dunk. So it's basketball player versus basketball player. Yesterday I got my version of Zero Sphere for CD32. Brand new CD32 release. Do you know that? No, I don't. No, I don't. But I'm interested. Anything that's got me in it, I'm interested. Right, one thing for sure, Slam Dunk will win this game. Right, now I'm on the right. I think, yes I am now. Well there's a surprise, Slam Dunk won. Oh wow, this, that is a small magazine. Yeah, it's about the same size as my head. Which is why I didn't reckon one. I did wonder what was going to be in it because I wasn't expecting it to be so small. Yeah, boy, that's the way to do it. Not many games you face yourself. No, Mortal Kombat you do, Street Fighter you do. Could be twins. The previous guy looks like Fei Long. Oh, yeah, I suppose it could be Fei Long. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, I had to shout on that last tune because that's quite a loud tune. But yeah, it came out Germany, 27. Uh, came out, well, this one came out in 1995. Yes, I might have to buy that as well. And Andreas, that game you, you sent me, We Shoot, I'm going to try that again now, but with the new updated graphics. I think that looks stunning. Because that video I did with me trying it out, that was not with the riser. So I'm going to try it again. And I think that would look sweet. But yes, that, that is a new game. That's the only new game I've played. Uh, but Andreas sent it to me in the post, which is really nice of him. And it was actually signed by the creator as well. But that's the only new one that I've played. But there is one CD32 game I've always wanted to play, and that is Flink. But that is going for absolutely stupid money. And I'm not going to pay that. Even though I have paid, spent a lot of money, I'm not going to pay £719, which is what it is currently up for sale on, on eBay at the moment. That's wacky. One day I'll buy it. One day I'll try it. Can't post links here. Unfortunately not. I don't know why that is the case. Uh, I've got a Facebook fan page. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitch. But I've got no videos on there at the moment. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I don't know why that's the case. I mean, if you can send me a, a, an email or a Facebook post. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube. I'm not sure. Kuri from Tibet. Age 30. No one is quite sure what or who Curie really is. He prefers his personal history to remain more... Uh, I said... I said... I, I can't read that. Special moves. Power smash fists. Body drop. Rock roll. And spinning fire hand. Quite similar to, I guess, Zangief, I guess. He's a big guy. He's not wearing a lot of clothes. But he's quite strong. But he's... I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, because it's probably going to jinx it. Actually, it could be E-Honda. could be like E-Honda. That sort of build. A fighter from Tibet. Yes. He can be a bit difficult at times. Um, but... He doesn't have a particularly high jump, and that does work to your advantage. Damn. Damn. 
I know I'm sort of using the same move, but when you're doing this difficulty, it works. <laughs> it works. It takes away so much health. What Dalai Lama said about say about that? <laughs> what what was the new game you got for the CD32? I don't understand. Okay, hold on. Where is it? Hold on. That shouldn't. Uh... And uh, Andreas, he sent me this in the post about three weeks ago. Uh, it's a fairly new game. Uh, I didn't realise. Uh, I didn't, well, to be honest, I'd never even heard of it. It came out in 2016. It's a shoot 'em up. It's a very, very good one. Very, very difficult though. But now I've got my riser set up. I'm going to go back to it and do it again. But it does have a few um, glit um, flaws. And if you, there's a video on my channel. It's only about 15 minutes long of me playing it. Now, if you watch to the end, you'll see what the glitches are. Italy, 20. But yeah, there is an issue with the dying. Because sometimes you keep dying when you don't get hit by anything. Yes, and he's actually signed it. And a big thank you to Andrews for that. And I will be looking forward to playing the second one. But I really want to finish that one. It's, it's just a single level. Do you want to fight? If I complete this on hard today, that would be amazing. It's going well. Daniel Marlborough made it. Sorry for the spelling. Don't need to put that. I would have, I, I, I would assume you spelled it right. First blow. See, if they jump into it, it takes so much energy. Have some of that. Boom! On the head there. How many levels are there? What, to this? If you're talking about this, it has 17 characters, so 17 fights. The one at the end is that guy. The big tough nut. It says it there, match 12 of 17. If you're talking about this, one level. And you only get one life. You don't get any continues. Just one single life. Now this guy is tough. Really tough. Pakistan. The, the, the difficult move with he the, the most difficult move he has is his teleportation. Which is deadly. But he has a magic carpet. As you do in battle. But this is another one I always tend to struggle with. But he's got a bit... That one. Trouble is it gets ya. Trouble is he can block them with his magic carpet. Oh, that, that was a bad move. That's why I go for McJesa. Ah, game for CD32. This is going to be difficult. Travis, he keeps blocking them. Oh, you're stuck in a corner. I need the mother of all comebacks here. It's like it's slightly saying war. I played the demo of R oh, reshoot R. Oh, it is awesome. I always wanted a magic carpet. <laughs> If I had a magic carpet, I can fly to New York City, I can fly to Sweden, uh, Sweden and fly to Norway, and fly to hun Hungary, and meet all you awesome guys. I was blocking that. So I think this is my last continue.
It's a good battle, but it's my word. What's blocking that? Oh, good fight. But I'm surprised I lost that. I thought I was going to win that one. I think this is the last go. It's all down to this now. Oh my word, I think I'm going to lose this guys. That's it, I think that is my last go. Close. Oh, last continue. It's all down to this now, people. Yeah, he's doing Rygar. Looking forward to that. This isn't going well. Seems to have lost my tactic. No, it's not looking good, is it? Oh, there we go. One more like that. He has, he is a genie in a lamp. He is. And he's kicking my butt. My God, I'm looking forward to that. Right. Ooh. No one like that. No one like that. Come on, Jay, we were so close! Yes! Yes! Look at all that blood on the floor! Mostly mine! My word! Sorry, I don't think I just scared my cat there. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, that was close. Now, this guy needs to eat some more food. He's extremely skinny. He looks a little bit like Dal Sim, but he doesn't have the stretching limbs ability. <sighs> Again, he doesn't have a lot of clothes on. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing this the hard way. Ouch. Crazy moves. He's throwing me around. Room meditation. Uh, there are so many talented people and I'm so glad these people like Graham, Richard and Eric to keep it up the me. Keeping it alive. Absolutely. Hats off to you guys. Mega will not die. It will never die. Ooh, this guy is putting up a bit of a fight now. It's 
just going down to the wire. Some guy to be just skin and bones. Yes, he needs to eat some more food. Hey, Bill, having a nice cold Guinness. I don't like Guinness. I don't like Guinness. Now, this guy is the only character that has a weapon. And it looks a little bit like Raiden. But he doesn't have electricity. Well, in a way he does. He has a sword. The only character with a weapon. Ooh. Oh dear. I'm dazed. First time that's happened. My tactic is not working. He got perfect. Yes, he does have some lightning. I should have remembered that. So yes, very much like Raiden. No, it well, no, it's not. I've never played that. I haven't played it. I've heard they're not particularly good. I'm struggling here. I can't get my I'm struggling to get that move done. There we go. Ah! Uh, it was a good run, but that is it. I'm out of life, I'm out of fights, out of continues. Blimey, my ears are red, like my hat. Same colour as my hat. And after all that work, I'm only fourth. Wowzers. Right. Oh. I will try and do it for a video one day. Good effort, Jamie. Wow, it was really difficult. It is difficult. What one step too far? Good fighting, difficult. Right, does anyone want to make any more suggestions? But in saying that, you don't know what, what I've got, do you? Should we read out what I've got? Let's read out what I've got. Let's read out what we've got. I've got all my games here. Okay, we have. Ready? Are we ready? Okay, Beneath the Still Sky, Disposable Hero, Diggers, Os uh, Oscar, Super Frog, uh, Soccer Kid, Banshee. Actually, what I'm going to do, do that, be a bit quieter, wouldn't it? Right, are we ready? Do it again. Right, Beneath the Still Sky, Disposable Hero, Diggers, Oscar, Super Frog, Soccer Kid, Banshee, Project X, F-17 Racing Challenge, uh, Super Spardust, Microcosm, Pimple Fantasy, Sensible Soccer, Total Carnage, Premier, Myth, James Bond 2, Arm, um, Truck Rock 2, Little Devil, Wembley International Soccer, Super Skid Mark, Simon the Saucer, Roadkill, IK Plus, um, Speedball 2, Worm, Skeleton Crew, Alien Breed, Special Edition, Quack, Zool, Lost Vikings, Kingpin, Rise of the Robots, Cannon Fodder, Dragonstone, Zool 2, Super Putty, Battle Chest, um, Jet Strike, Chuck Rock, Bubble and Stick, Super Meepane Brothers, Fire and Ice, Ultimate Body Blows, Cannon Fodder, sorry, Chaos Engine, Naughty Ones, Tower Assault, Alien Breed 2, and Bump and Burn, and Worms and I think that is it. I think that is it. Right. Super Frog, Banshee, Oscar, Banshee. Roadkill, Speeble 2, Banshee. We have one, two, three, three Banshees, two Super Frogs. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Woo! Um, should we have a Banshee? Little Devil is brilliant. I recommend that. Banshee. We've got a lot of Banshees. We go for Banshee, shall we? One of one of one of Rory's favourite games. I know that because I asked him a long time ago. 
Banshee. I'm actually quite pleased you've picked Banshee because even though I did a video of this earlier in my channel, that was not using the riser. Now we have the riser. <laughs> yes, Banshee's also good. And I missed one out there. I missed two actually. Marvel's Marvel's Adventure. And we shoot. We shoot. And I do have a lot of demo discs. Got a lot of these um, demo discs and compilation discs as well. Got lots of those. Oh, I've also got Kid Chaos. I've got about that one. That's over there. Hello, right, Retro Gaming, you're still here. How's the car fixing going? Mate, this is a brilliant stream. Got so many brilliant viewers. Awesome. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna substitute this for the joystick. That's what I do. There is a long play on my channel of me playing this game and completing this game. Which is good. But with the graphics it doesn't do it justice. But hopefully this will look smashing. Grew Meditation, you're still here. Really appreciate it. Ant! 4X is here! I'm very happy he's here, and I'm very happy everyone else is here. It's been one of the best streams I think I've ever done in terms of views. How are we doing for views, Swedish House? I haven't asked you today. How are we doing? Earth, 1999. Uh... All the games you mention I have as originals. Every single one, do you? I don't have all of them, but I do want to... That's really good for this time. That's really good. I think 15 is the maximum. I don't think I've, I don't think I've gone beyond 15 before. 16? Six, 16 is the, new mac, is the new record. That's the word I'm looking for. Record. Oh, and Bomb Jack 2, yes. I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm definitely getting better at that game. It's really good, though. Grew Meditation, Mega Bill, you played that as well, didn't you? I've got, I played that um, the other day, and also played it on the previous stream. Graham Cowie, as you know, made it. And also, I did notice, Amiga Bill, you, your name popped up on the main screen, I noticed the other day. It's brilliant, I love it. And I'm going to use the outro music on one of my... Sorry, I'm going to use one of the mute songs from that on one of my outros. I did ask for permission before I used it, and he said yes. And he's a nice guy. Really appreciate it. Right. No, I'm using a... Alright. You don't have joystick. Uh... Keep playing on screen. Level normal. <laughs> right, I've noticed that if you complete it on easy, you don't get the ending, the movie at the end. The only, pardon me, the only way you get the ending is you have to complete it on hard. Easy is hard. Really hard. Pardon me. Right. I forgot to drink my tea. I've got a flask. I actually prepared myself today. I actually made a spare flask of tea. Um, so I don't have to keep getting up. I saw someone say the word confusion. I don't want to see the word confusion. Oh, confusing. No horse, picking up a G camp today. Uh, uh, we're watching you on the TV here where the tools are going. So you can hear lots of r r gaming and lots of vroom, 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 drills going on. You sort your door pin. No horse, pick up play. Uh, call, not have sound effects of music at the same time on CD32. No. I might do this one as a. Because I, I did that video with the Jaguar, didn't I? I might do, might do it for this one as well. Anyway, guys, cheers. It's not alcohol, it's tea. Cheers. Woo. Right, great game. Brilliant game, but extremely difficult. I'm doing it on normal. Right, is the positioning good? No, it's not. That's one of the problems with the Mega CD32 is every single game has a different size screen. Uh, 
There we go. Lock that into place. Boom. Uh, I didn't. I don't get what to do on in Bomb Jack. Play the game from the CD Projekt scene mag cover disc. Confusing. You have to collect all the bombs, kill the bad guys, and if you collect the bombs in the order that they are lit, you get a bonus. You get lots of extra lives for 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. I messaged Graham the other day. It's a great game. It's really good. I'm going to hopefully complete it one day, but I'm not there yet. But what? I do like the music, and yeah. I did say to him yesterday, can I use it in one of my outros? And he said yes. It won't be this week, because this week it's already been done. Every week it'll be a different tune. And don't forget, guys, when you're making suggestions, it doesn't have to be Commodore. It can be whatever you want. It can be Mega Drive, PlayStation, whatever you want. Just not proper music, because I'll get a strike. Just want to do something different for each week. Just not the same tune every week. Can't do it for the, uh, the intro, unfortunately, because it goes with my uh, hammer bead making. It goes with it. Right, you do get health, and like I did on that long play, because I'm using a joystick, I can't do the rotations, because you need another button, and I don't have another button for the joystick. Oh dear, I need some health. I'm nearly dead already. Dead already. Right, my weapon is poor. Really poor. I might have to put my control pad in because I can't pause it otherwise. And I can't read these chats. Actually, guys, hang on a minute. I'm going to change it. I'm going to plug my control pad in. Because, because I can't pause it. And I need to pause it to read the chat. So, with regret, I've got to plug this in. This is an extremely difficult game. And I can't pause it to read the chat. And I need to pause it to read the chat. So, we'll do that again. Bottoms up, Jamie. Of, uh, of course, it's difficult. It's shump. Bottoms up, Jamie. The good meditation, uh, you were credited because your influence make you influenced me to make the game without the Amiga community for those that support it would be have it would not have happened. Uh, which shoot 'em up is most easy you guys have played? What shoot 'em up is the most easy? Is there an easy shoot 'em up? I have to get back to you on that one. Okay, thanks. Uh, if you look at your, the YouTube for the play of Hi Hipponius, you'll see exactly how to play it. Jamie ex exp explained it pretty well. Collect the bombs in order to kill the baddies. That is so nice to hear, Graham Curry. The community is the best community. Thanks to Min for doing good work, God's good God's work, and keeping it alive. Can tell how big the plane's hitbox is. The group meditation well deserved, my friend. Your streams are epic. They are brilliant and so ver varied. The group meditation, seriously, best thing I've done to get back into after 20 odd years. Graham Cowley, I'll do. Had no time when you tried it. Need more time to test. Thanks, Rory. Love heart. Right, I'm using this now so I can pause it now. Yeah, bottoms up, someone said, but it's not alcohol, it's tea. Cheers. So now I can do the loop the loops like I couldn't before. But now I can pause it. Yay! There we go. I don't like ignoring the chat. I don't like ignoring these awesome viewers. 
but I don't like using the pads. But for this attempt, I will be. The viewers are the most important. Anyway, um, trying to think of an easy shoot 'em up. I suppose Menace. I've completed Menace probably the most times. Um, Z out. I've completed that once. I, I, I struggled with level 5 boss on that one. Um, Swift, I never completed. Silkworm, I've completed twice. Without cheats, of course. Um. Battle Squadron, I still haven't finished. Uh, Hybris, I haven't finished yet. Blood Money, not even, not come close to that. But it's on my list. It is now, anyway. Project X, I'm trying, 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 really, really trying. Really tough though. My channel does need another big shoot 'em up completion, and Project X is the one I've got to do. It's only got it's only got um, six is it six levels, five levels. It's only got five levels, but I'm stuck on level four. But you don't get continues. Oh my word! I need some better firepower. This is weak. My word. You don't like it, no? I think it's really, really good. Really good. It's just really, really ridiculously difficult. What don't you like about it? It needs continues. It really does. My weapon is rubbish. I need a better weapon. I can't compete with the firepower with this terrible weapon. That's one. You get a power up from it. Can't remember what one it is. The energy is on the left, in the middle. Blimey. Extra life? I'll have some of that. Boats. Blow up the boats. Now it's going to rain, which is very, very British at the moment. I haven't got one weapon upgrade yet. Uh, Project X is terrible. Hybris is not so difficult. I'm trying. Not recently, but I have tried. Um, uh, the section Z on NES is pretty easy. The agreementation will do, Bill. Likewise, you in the UK drop me a line. Battle Squadron is quite easy. You completed, have you? I haven't. Uh, I also love it, but it's too hard for me. But the special edition is not more fair, but we only get to level 3 with the volcano level. I get to level 4, but not very often. Project is technically excellent, but it is so stupidly hard and enemies take ages to kill. Jamie, you haven't given our goodness copies of you? No, I haven't. No, 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 no. I will do it. I will do it. Oh dear. I need some better weapons! I haven't got one weapon upgrade yet. That doesn't count. <laughs> that just blows everything off the screen. Oh my word. Energy! I need energy. There we go. Here's the English summer rain.
But yes, I suppose it is a little bit of a pause, I guess, for the ghouls and ghosts. So difficult, mate. Really tough. Really difficult. The one bonus about it, though, is you do get quite a lot of extra lives. That is a bonus. But it's level... F I think it's level 5. I'm stuck on level 5. All the weapons. I've got no weapon upgrades whatsoever. And that is why I'm playing so terrible because I've got nothing to shoot. Hello, Jasper. He's awake. He's here, but he can't. He can't see him on the camera. Nearly dead. Me and him. <sighs> we'll wait on transplant. I'm looking forward to that. E my email is... That's a long email. Sorry, I'm not allowed to post email or links on the chat. Good man. Like what you're flying in Norway. You know when you look at a game, the graphics are excellent, but the gameplay is not as good as Battle Squadron. I have to go try and I have to try it before I go to bed now. Transplants, yes. Have you tried playing this game with the mouse? No, never, never. Uh, I, I don't know. Is it easier? Is it? It doesn't sound right to me. But when I did that long play, I noticed it then. Right. This is where we get some weapons. From the lighthouses. I don't want much in life, really. I just want a weapon. I can't believe how far I've got with no weapons. Yay! I've lost it already! I've lost it! So you've got to get three of those. If you don't have three of those, you lose weapons. Something, I guess. Better than nothing. I'll have to try it with a mouse then. Oh, what happened there? Hello, my screen's going weird. But not on there. Oh! I don't know if you guys can see this, but something's going weird. My, my TV kept switching off and switching back on. How weird is that? Whoa. Oh, hang on. Uh, your game, Ghouls and Ghosts and PJX, would be good for a channel, I think. Yes, I think so. Make sure to progress into level 5 and get a few power-ups. I played it with a mouse when I broke my shoulder. It was pretty fun with my mouse. Put your CD32 mag CD on. Oh. Um. Amiga Bill, how did you break your shoulder? How did you break your shoulder? I forgot about that. Yes, it's got a... Yes, I forgot about that. Oh, yes, of course. 
Okay, give me five minutes, and I'll put it on. I forgot about that. Yes, how did you break your shoulder? Oh, bike accident. Silly Billy. Trying to do wheelies, were you? Trying to do stunts. Right, we have a weapon. Try and keep it this time. But yes, yeah, so I'll put that on in a minute. The, uh, that CD. Totally forgot about it. I stopped doing this. That's something I never thought I'd be doing again. Putting brand new CD32 demos on. I thought those days were long gone. Right, we're doing better now. Now we have better weapons. Boom! Downhill biking. They under then understand. They can go fast, not downhill. Yes, of course, horse is a, a biker. I'm sure he's had a few injuries, I'm sure. Be careful, guys. The body is a fragile thing. When you're going down slopes on bikes. Amazingly, even at the age of 35, 36, I've not broken a single bone in my body. I've fractured something. I've fractured a finger. It's not technically breaking, is it? I've sprained. And I've lost a weapon. Ooh. But no, I've not actually broken anything. A fracture doesn't count, does it? That was when I was playing football. I was in, I was in goal. I got the ball in my hand and someone came up to me and kicked, tried kicking the ball out of my hand. Of course, he kicked my fingers and fractured two of my fingers. Did he say sorry? No, he didn't. I went to school the f next day and he went, <laughs> Look what I did. <laughs> oh, nice, cheers. Yeah, he broke my fi fractured two of my fingers. Right, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. His weapons is poo. But there's the loop loot, I keep forgetting I've got it. Break a leg. Don't really want to break a leg, to be honest with you. Or have you broken a leg? Okay, let's talk injuries. What's everyone's worst injury sustained? What is your worst injury? Right, this is the boss. We'll put that demo disc on after this boss. Watch out for that wrecking ball. Don't want to get hit by the wrecking ball. got hit by the wrecking ball. But yes, this game needs music. It needs in-game music and it definitely needs boss battle music. Which is what I said in my long play. It needs boss music. 
There's not many games that have boss battles with no music. And this is slow because my weapon is rubbish. That thing is moving very, very slightly right. So I'm running out of space. What's going to kill... F what's going to die first? Me or him? He, 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 he did! He did! Wowzers! There we go! That's the first level! And I don't have a lot of weapons, which is why it was so difficult. My ears are red. Right, let's put this demo on, shall we? Does ha broken heart count? I guess. Uh, injuries. My wife's... Oh, my word. The, the crash was my worst. Broken collarbone, broken ribs, and four months out of work. Broken arm after judo training. It was my, I was 13 years old. Oh, hello, Daisha. Daishi, hello. Uh, 47. Not a bone bro broken despite many, many motorcycle accidents and a three story fall. I picked myself a win here guys. I was seven years old when I was squashed by a rock and actually died. Come back of course. So glad you came back. My word. One month in hospital. Probably my collarbone broken three places now stick out a lot. You win. Holy crap. He's a ghost. Yes. He's a ghost. Uh, I crashed on bike store when I was four or five. I was in hospital at the same time. Good meditation and real the ghost. Ghost of Raw. Raw. You are unbreakable. Demo time. Yes, I always have thought that something was weird with you guys, but it is me. I'm dead. He's come back. Back from the dead. <laughs> and I'm very, very pleased he came back from the dead. But don't do it again. Don't do it again. Look after, your g Look after yourselves, guys. We only live once. Right, demo time. It's quite surprising actually, there's actually nothing on that disc. It doesn't say anything, there's no title to it. Broken ankle playing footy at school. I was joking about my wife stabbing me, dude. <laughs> I didn't see that bit, it went off the screen too quickly, I didn't see it. I saw something about a wife. Uh, my ones, I don't really have any bad ones. I got a scar on my forehead when I hit a record player when I was really young. My brother was chasing me around the living room. I've got a bad cut on my hands when I landed on a... Um, a ripper. Uh, is it a gripper under the carpets? Um, I've got a stone stuck in my hand when I was playing football. I've got a stone stuck in my knee when I was playing football. I cut my knee open when I was playing football. I was in goal most of the time, but it's mostly just cuts and bruises. I don't have any bad injuries, to be honest with you. Right, this is the demo. Crack me head open, that's about all. That's not nice. How did you do that, Graham? Remind me. Right, demo time. I've never played this before. Broken ribs are a nightmare. Broke free in my back. You can't. You can't lie down. Sleep upright. Or sleep standing up. Wowzers! Demo time. A lot of football injuries. Okay, so what should we play, guys? Now I understand why you not like football anymore, Jamie. I do like football, I just don't follow any teams. I think watching football on TV bores me because everyone tries to roll around on the floor trying to earn BAFTAs. I hate that. All the acting, the diving, I hate all that. But football, I do I do actually like to play football. But only as a muck around. I'm not I'm, I don't like playing matches because it's too serious. Bomb Jack Beer. Okay. Can I use joystick? Do I have to use it? I suppose I do, don't I? Right, okay. Someone mentioned Zero Sphere earlier, I'm sure they did. Tripped. Are you tripped? What did you hit your head on? Beer, beer, beer. <laughs> of course you're going to say that, aren't you? Right, I need to put this, sort this out again.
Yeah, it's a great game. I love this music to this. It's really catchy. But guys, I'm not brilliant at it. I've only got to level 13. Thank you. When I talked to my parents about the accident, they got very emotional. Oh, hello, Per Anderson. Hello. Uh, where in England do you live, Jamie? I'm in Ashford in Kent, the southeast of yeah, the southeast of England. Hit my head on your on, on doorstep. Leo is my son's name. Hello, Leo. Funky music. Right, the best I've done is level 13, which is not very impressive, I know. But I need to do better because the creator is here. But I'm having to use the control pad now, which is I would rather not. Oh. I missed one. Yes, everyone needs to be careful. Everyone. Right, you're technically supposed to get the ones that are lit. But because I'm so rusty at this game, I'm just going to try and stay alive. Once I get better at it, then hopefully I'll try and get better at getting the lit ones. I just want to stay alive. That bird is a problem. There we go. What a funny looking game! You must have played the original, Graham Briner. You must have done, the old, the old one. It's quite an old game, it was a long time ago. It's quite a difficult game because you've got all these, because your jumps... You've got a really, really high jump, and a not so high jump, but you've got to try and avoid so many enemies. But if you can try, collect the bombs in the order where they lit, light up. But Graham Cowie, who is actually on the chat, he created this game. But yes, Per Anderson, haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? How are you doing? How's life treating you? Hopefully you everyone hopefully life is treating you well. Yeah. Collect that icon, and that is the time to fight back the enemy. And that's an extra life. I know that because I messaged Graham last yesterday, actually. Uh oh. How lucky was that, guys? <laughs> Jammy Jamie again. Blimey. Ah, oh, that was just too much. It was just too much. Yeah, I know, I know. I haven't really mastered that. It'll take a bit of time. I mean, I did struggle with the original. That was a long time ago. That's one of the first games we played. Yeah, I just lost that life I got. Oh my word. There's so many enemies on the screen! No luck, just skill, Jamie. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't actually, I don't, I'm nowhere near got, got the skills yet to collect all of them that are lit. What I might actually do, actually, I might plug my joystick in. Can I beat 13? I'm not so sure. I'll give it a try though. I 
I'd rather use a joystick for a game like this. That's not an excuse, I just prefer joysticks. It's going well. It'll never be as good as our people. Can you pause the demo? No, you can't. Oh, I didn't see that. It blended in with the background. Rory's thrown in the towel. You've done well, my friend. You've done very, very well. Hopefully the new stream time is helping. Grandpa, look at your WhatsApp. Oh my word. No, 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 no. Oh, Graham's going to bed as well. Ah, I might put my joystick in. I'm so much better with a joystick. It's, it's, just, it's just a part of me I can't seem to change. I've always preferred joysticks. Always. If I was a Mega Drive man back in the old days, it probably would have been, been a different story. Because I've been growing up with Commodores all my life, about 95% of my life I've been using joysticks. So it's always going to be a preferred thing for me. Good night, Swedish house. Uh, you can. One of the buttons pauses the game. Oh, does it? Uh, not like Swedish House. It is. It is, Jamie. Thank you. Good night and Ghost of War. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. The Ghost of War will sleep with a smile. Yes. Right, we're going for joystick now. I prefer this a lot. But I did watch um, Mega Bill when he played it on, on his stream as well. That was the first time I ever saw it. There we go. So much better with the joystick. The brilliant, awesome zip stick. The best joystick in the world by an absolute long shot. Lucky. It's just gonna be one of those things, Graham. Uh, it's just, just, just practice, practice, practice. Eventually, I'll get better at it. My TV's done it again. My TV keeps going off. I don't think it's the computer. It's the TV. Probably a loose, a bad connection. Competition. I thought it was my TV, it's not, it is the laptop. So you might have lost connection briefly there. Sorry guys. Extra life! Yeah, I don't know why it did that. Oh, it fell on my head! Yeah, I don't know why. God, if I, get, God, if I were to get a power cut, that would be a disaster. All my lights will go out. All my retro gaming will be switched off. Everything will be turned off. There's a lot of stuff running at once. And that will all go off. Only a few seconds. Yeah. Broke the internet. That's the new... Uh, Wreck it Ralph, isn't it? Oh, a fraction too late. You were <laughs> touching cloth for a second. What time is it? I didn't know what time. Oh, no, it's doing it again.
Whoops, missed it. This way. No. Ah, uh, not again. Probably. Yes, I'm working tomorrow. Six till six. What time is it? Oh, that's all right. It's too early. It could be going I'm having too much fun. Very much so. Oh, I've done it again. That's twice I've done that. Flew right into him just as he changed back. Oh, no. Uh, I haven't seen Wreck-It Ralph. Is it any good? You haven't seen the first one? First one is really, really good. But yeah, there's a new one. I've got it over there. I can't see it. Where can I uh... One of these days, I'm going to put my DVDs in alphabetical order. That's going to be a long process, but sometimes, at some times, it would be nice and easy. It would make it a lot more easier. But yeah, it's very good. Right, one more go. Let's try and get to 13. Which is my best. Try and get all of them, shall we? No, oh, failed already. Is that a B or an E? Oh, it's an E. Missed it. Missed the life. Oh no. Graham, I missed it. You need DVD? Yes, I do need an alphabetical order. It'd be so much easier. Especially with the amount that I've got. I've got loads. Whoa, that was close. Got extra life. Yeah, it's called uh, Ralph Rex the Internet or something like that. Doesn't look as good though. Ooh. It's looking more promising to get all of them. There's enemies everywhere! Look at that! I think that was the best one yet! Look at that! 22! Jamie, here's a tip. If you're on the left side of the screen, the image will appear on the right and vice versa. Oh, okay. That's a good tip. When they drop. The enemies are so fast. Oh. Oh. How lucky was that? Some close calls. <sighs> Didn't know they were... Sorry, I read that one. Yeah. 
And he done it again. That was very, very close. I am getting the hang of it. I'm getting better. Not a pro yet. Nowhere near a pro. I'd say that's the second one now. Not quite as much, but it's a good... It's a work in progress. Where am I now? Round seven. That was a bad mistake. Should have gone the other way. Be sure to end the game from the menu to save a high score. That's a nuisance. Get so close. Run away! Or fly away! Need another life! Woo! I left my DVD collection in the UK and never collected... Oh! Never collected like that again! It's going to take me ages to put them in alphabetical order. But sometimes it, it's definitely needed. Yes! Level 9! Level 10 on the way! Oh my word, look at this lot. Nearly get on extra life. Is it 15,000 you'll get, isn't it? Very, very close. Oh my word. No, 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 no. Ah, level 10. Lots of work in progress. My word. It's such a good game, though. Really, really good. Such a simple idea, but it's great. One thing you must do, if you're going to put tea in a flask, make sure you put the lid on. It keeps the heat in. Don't do what I just did, lift, 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 leave the lid off. Right, should we try the next, should we try another one on this disc? Let's see what else we got. But yeah, it's a great game, I do recommend it guys. Graham did a great job, brilliant job. Mate, I'm not giving up though, I'm gonna get better at it, I will get better at it. And please check out his channel, he's got a YouTube channel, um, and he's got his current um, project he's doing at the moment, he's got on there, he's got some videos on there, check it out. And check out Amiga Bills as well, don't forget to check out Amiga Bills. I'm sure most of you know Amiga Bills. The Guru Meditation. Right, someone mentioned Zero Sphere. So we've got Lumberjack Revisited, Zeros of the Gore Loof, Zero Sphere, Alco Copter. Video, what's video message? No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for recommending. Thank you for the copy of that game. And thank you for the just continuous support. What should we go for now, people? I don't know any of those, apart from Bomb Jack. It's the only one I know. I'm sure someone mentioned Zero Sphere. I'm sure they did. Alcocopter sounds funny. 
Oh, press the wrong button. <laughs> press the wrong button. Alco Copter. Zero Sphere. What do I do? There's one of each. What do I do? Let's go with Zero Sphere because that was mentioned earlier. Hello there, Atlee Larson. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. How are you doing? This is a CD32 stream. I've played quite a lot of CD32 games, but I'm actually now trying out the free demo disc with today with the CD32 magazine I've got. I've just played Bomb Jack, which is brilliant. And now I'm going to try out Zero Sphere, which I've never tried before. How are you doing? Looks like Tomokun! Rainbow Arts. Is it Rainbow Arts? Is it going to fall like it does in Tomokun? Yes, it does! Look at that smiley face! <laughs> Alcoholic Helicopter. I'll do that next. Never heard of this. Space! The Final Frontier! Our hero, Squanly, Squanty, was cruising around minding his own business. He was approaching planet Odak 3 when suddenly... Do you know what? This looks like the intro to... Um... What's it called? Oh my word, how can I forget that game? Oh my word, what's it called? What is it called? Very similar to Toe Jam and Earl. What is this thing? Oh, just my dimensional transformer. To rule the world! <laughs> it looks like an orange. Stay right there. I am. I'm going to stay right here because I've got awesome people viewing. Oh. Squinty was confused. Everything he saw was very... Didn't read that. But when he squinted again, squinted hard. You could see normally for a time. Only you can help defeat Odak. By collecting all gems of four. Is this a full game then? All these full games. Not everyone in Norway is sleeping. Oh, it's a demo. Okay. I should be going to bed because I've got to be up at five o'clock in the morning. Do a 12 hour shift. Eh, having too much fun. Right, fire to jump, up to jump. Up to jump, fire to jump. I prefer that one to be honest with you. Okay. Holy moly! Level one of three. Get ready. I'm ready. Ready and waiting. Okay. Oh my word. Ooh. Oh my word. Ooh. Wowzers, look at this. That's something I've never seen before. Good soundtrack. Oh, word. I haven't been drinking. I definitely haven't been drinking. Not booze, anyway. Ooh, ooh. But it looks like I have been. Yeah, so like, ooh, holy moly! Yes, indeed, indeed, a holy moly. That is a holy moly right there. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting that. But it's just awesome that the games are still getting made. It's absolutely brilliant. It's still, it's just, it just proves the Amiga's not dead. Right, so I'm guessing all you have is a jump. Oh, 
Yes, music's great. I killed him. Gotta go now. Enjoy. Great stream, Jamie. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Right, now where? There's an arrow. There's a finger pointing in, point in this direction. How do I get there? Oh, Jasper's here. Hello, Jasper. Oh, my word. Bye, Graham. Night Horse. I'm not very good at this game, but then it's no surprise there. I've never played it before. 3,100 points. Congratulations, you are top squinty. Please enter your name. Whoops. Oh. Hold on. Right, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next stream yet, guys. Um, if the A1200 arrives in good time, I'll do the A1200. Um, you have to run too. Great seeing you, Jamie and Morgan, and great hanging out with everyone in chat. Take it easy, mate. Really, really means a lot that you tuned in. Really, really appreciate it. And thank you to, for sharing it or recommend it to your friends. Really means a lot. Really appreciate it. And congratulations on your 16th wedding anniversary. Right. Let's try this copter game, shall we? Yes. Great, great, fantastic. How are we, how are we doing for viewers, guys? How are we doing? How are we doing? I should just check myself, really. Stop being lazy. Oh, I've got a WhatsApp. I'll check that in a bit. It's from Anthony Jordan. Right, should we try out this Alcocopter 9? That's still pretty good this time of night. 16 is the record. That's going to take some beating. Also, guys, one thing that did surprise me last week, amongst all the problems that I had with last week's stream, when it finished, the whole entire video uploaded straight away. There was no issues. Because usually when it goes beyond two hours, it only uploads the last two hours and the first bit doesn't. But last week, it just went, the whole thing uploaded. So that was one bonus, I suppose. Could be a way up. Could be a way forward. Oh, okay. Whoa! Okay. That was not, not, not a good start, was it? Bullets. Oh my word. Whoa, it's a bit sensitive. I'm guessing here, I'm really guessing. Oh. Okay, so what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to land? No? Has anyone got any idea what you're supposed to do? Yeah, I'm a drunk copter. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do though. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, it does say, isn't it? Alcohol. Blood alcohol. Okay. I don't know. I really don't know what you're supposed to do because you. Any idea? Doing great, your stream is nice. Like those nostalgia moments. 
my channel is, I'd say, 90% Commodore. <laughs> I'm a huge Commodore fan, always have been. Commodore 64 was like my first ever computer, which I've still got. Mega was second, but Mega was just, it just blew me away. Blew us all away. It was just amazing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Absolutely no idea. I tried that. I don't know. <laughs> I picked the bottle up and I carried it around with me, but I kept, uh, I don't know. But yes, um, Amiga is, is, is the main focusing point. Um, but yeah, I do streams every Friday night at 8 o'clock. I do long plays without cheats. And I also make hammer beads as well. And speaking of hammer beads, I need to try and find what one that fell off my wall. Which is a bit strange. Right. Heroes of Gollum or Lumberjack Revisited. I probably won't stream for much longer, it's getting a bit late, and I have got to go to work tomorrow and do a 12 hour shift, which I really don't want to do. Heroes of Galoof. It's just like a point and click. I'm in prison. 90% Commodore, that's why I'm watching. <laughs> awesome. Yes, I do do, um, I'm going to be, I, I do have other consoles as well. I've got the Mega Drive, um, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, uh, SNES, Game Boy, all those. But Commodore is what I focus on the most. Oh, right, this was on the back of the magazine. That's that, isn't it? Oh, okay. Very small screen, very small. It's great, it's developed by Patrick Nevian. Right. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. That's a wall. Oh, door is locked. Okay. We need a key. Uh, any idea? Any ideas, guys? What do you reckon? Friend. He's a good friend of Chris Hellsback. Chris Hellsback is a legend. So many great songs. Absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do. Really have got a clue. Didn't play the demo yet. Struggling here guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Absolutely no idea. We've got to find a key, but I don't know how. It's locked apparently, but I'm pressing every single button. Um
I don't know. I can't open the door! Oh, you find a note. I'm too weak now. I will not make it. But you will be able to flee. Open the secret stash at the top left. Top left. Not keen on that one. Um, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Not sure on that one. I have no idea. Nothing was working. Okay. Haven't drunk any water yet. Let's drink some water. Lumberjack. Try that one. There's only one I haven't tried. Copy protection. What is the air speed velocity of an unladen swallow? Uh, is it in the book? Copy protection? Oh, okay. Eleven. Oh. Hey. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Protection code equals one one. Ah, correct. Boom. All right. At least I cheat something. Okay, no, I'll, I'll be editing it very, very soon. Last go. Nighty nighty horse. Thanks for tuning in. I think in terms of views and and people that have tuned in, I think this has probably been one of the most popular ones I've ever done. Okay. This reminds me a little bit like... Um, Uh, what do you call it? Bishy Bashy. It's got a similar level to this. Okay, I get ya. I got ya. Yes, very much like Bishy Bashy. Right, so it's left to chop left, right to chop right, but you mustn't hit the branches. Done it again. Done it again. <laughs> Come on, Jamie. You're embarrassing yourself.
Ah, oh, wrong button. Pressed the wrong way. Simple but difficult. Yeah, it's got to be really, really quick. Oh, poo. Hang on. Only 180. 118 points. That's not particularly good. But that is a big tree. Oh, no. Don't know what's more difficult, putting in your name or cutting the tree. Try that again. Good one, Peter Ertz would be jealous. Oh. Got just got home. Coffee and chill time now. Phew! That's a late night for you, Anthony. That's speed. One of those games that once you get the hang of it, it's fine. Oh, I ran out of time. My goodness, you got to go so quick. Wowzers. I thought I did quite well there, but obviously it wasn't good enough. Right, let's go super quick now, shall we? Super quick. Can I use the, the top buttons? I wonder if I can. Right, I'll make this the last go, guys, and I'll end it now. Well, after this. Right. Go for speed now. Oh, I'm gonna go for speed. Oh, hello, Aku Anka. Hello, welcome to my stream. Hello. I'm trying to do this really, really quickly. Oh, <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Tell me a bit more about yourself. I'm guessing you've been to Amigas. This is a CD32 stream and I'm trying out this demo disc. The first three quarters of my stream was playing some CDs, but this uh, magazine arrived today. So I've been trying out the demos. This is called Lumberjack Revisited. You've got to do it very, very quickly. It's, it's hard to think. You don't want to hit those branches. So how you doing, Anthony? Ah, oh, what killed me? I don't know what killed me there. Little bit same as Bobo. Do you think so? Probably, um, probably the, the level on the on the power lines, maybe. Yes, I suppose. I was just sitting and watching a bit earlier. Not sure if anyone said anything. Getting lots of bits out the way, so I can have a long run tomorrow and sunny lads day. 
quite a few people quite a few people did uh, ask about you and I said that you're uh, fixing your car um, yes thanks for, tuning, <laughs> thanks for coming back mate really appreciate it but yeah you are a busy boy I don't know how you find the time I know you say it's chill time I know you said that quite a few times but it, it's it must be really tiring doing what you're doing plus doing your work as well and then coming home from work and fixing cars but there we go guys tried the games yet bud tired of games yet bud or tried uh, I played quite a few games I've played um, I played uh, I'm trying to think now ages ago I did um, disposable hero uh, I did Marvin's Marvel's adventure I did shadow fighter uh, a little bit of Banshee, and then I've played every single game on this disc. Uh, so yeah, it's been a really, really good stream. I've had a lot of response today. It's been brilliant. It's probably one of the best ones I think I've ever had. Uh, anyway, it is now quarter past 11. Should I end it there, or should I play something else? It's entirely up to you guys. I mean, I'm absolutely tickled pink by the response, but I mean, I'm more than happy to play something else if you want to see something else. And Jasper's here. He's been asleep pretty much most of the stream. Really unsociable, but at least I get to see him, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good stream. And Amiga Bill's tuned in. I've got some new new viewers as well. It's been brilliant. Really good. But shall I end it there, or does anyone want to see anything else? I don't even know how many viewers we have now, but it's... I actually did have 16 at one point. It's the, that's the joint best. So you might hear a slight echo the first time today. 10? My word. So you might hear a slight echo the first time today. My word, 10, 10. That is brilliant. Um, wow, okay. 10, that is brilliant. I can't believe that. Shall I play one more game? Is anyone... <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 30. 4K, 4X, 3, 2. Um, someone want to pick one more game? One more game. One more game. It might have gone to 11 because I logged on myself. Tried the games yet? What games? You said it twice, mate. What what games are you, are you, are you referring to? Tried the games. Tried the games. Tried the game. What? I don't know what you mean, Anthony. What? What games? What games are you referring to, mate? Help me out here. Right, I want to put a game on because I've got eleven people watching. Uh, shall I read them out again? I'll read them out again. Right, Roadkill, Summer Saucer, Super Skid Marks, Little Devil, Wembley International Soccer, Chuck Rock Two, James Bond Two, Myth, Premier, Total Carnage, Sensible Soccer, People Fantasies, Microcosm. Super Stardust, Project X, F-17 Challenge, Soccer Kid, Super Frog, Oscar Diggers, Disposable Hero, Believe Still Sky. Oh, I see! You're talking to him! Of course, of course, of course. Devil. Do you want to watch a bit, a bit, a bit of uh, Little Devil? Roadkill? That's tough. I played that a couple of weeks ago. Really difficult. Do you want to see Little Devil? That was first. It's a very long game, though. It's a very long game. Are you good at pinball fantasies? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I don't know. Is there, is there skill to pinball? Is it is it skill? I don't know. Little devil. You little devil. Okay. I've actually got two copies of that. Now this is a game that oh it's empty. I know why it's empty because it's in the it's in the hi files. Listen to the soundtrack. Uh, I've got this version, which is a hold on. You little devil! You call me a devil, little devil. Yeah, I've actually got two versions of this. I've got this one, uh, which is the box version, which is that one, but it's empty because it's actually on the it's actually in the hi-fi. 
And I've got this one, which is uh, a case version, but it's got a cover. So let's have a quick go at this. It's a great game. Really good. It, the one bit I don't like about it is when you're going through the maze. It is quite a slow process, but when you get to those, the, the rooms, brilliant. It's really good. It's a great game. Yes, Anthony, I, re I understand what you're saying now. Yes, you're talking to 4X about the games. That's it. Has it I'm, I'm assuming you've got them, yeah? People Fantasies. Okay, well, what I'm going to be doing, um, at Lee, at Lee Larson, <coughs> when my Mega 1200 arrives next week, uh, one of my subscribers did mention it a couple of weeks ago. He said, why don't you do a pinball stream? Now, there's quite a lot of AGA pinball games, which I can't play on my 500. But now I've got the Mega 1200 on the way, I'm going to be playing quite a lot of AGA ones that I couldn't play before. Um, so, I'm going to be doing a pinball stream. So, I'm going to play loads and loads of pinball games. You never heard of it, no? It's a great game. It's really good. I think this was actually, I don't know, I think it came out on the 1200 as well. Um, I don't think it was released on anything else. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. But it's a good game. Yes, skills, pinball sometimes. So yes, I will definitely do a, a pinball stream, hopefully in the next few weeks. Mega Passion, Little Devil, Rings of Vague Bell, pinball by, for the win. Yes, it was released by Gremlin. Gremlin did loads of games. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what this was released on apart from this. But thanks for Mega Passion. Thanks for tuning in. Steve Clifford. Do you know what? I couldn't think of your name earlier. How bad is that? I was talking about uh, the Riser. I got Steve. I couldn't think what his surname was. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> really bad. Mate, this riser is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm so tickled pink with it. I've actually got both the, I've actually got both of you online now. Anthony who fixed my laptop for me and found the riser for me. And then I've got you who sold sold it to me and sent it. It's brilliant. He's off. But yeah, this game has lots of these mazes, but every so often you'll find a door but you have to pick up items to, to progress through it and you have to pick up cash. Oh, it's on the CDI, okay. Awesome. AGA, do do do, push pinball, grind coffee. It's going to be in the next couple of weeks, I promise you. It's going to be in the next couple of weeks where we do the pinball stream. Just setting mine up again with Tiny Launcher. Right. Now, unfortunately, we can't do this bit yet because you've got to get the bug spray. Now, every time you go into a door and you don't you don't complete the level, your energy drains. But some levels, some rooms, you do need to find the item. Um, but at the moment... I'm not going to be able to buy anything because I haven't got any cash. But there's cash lying around. The map is at the top left. And your gold, when you've got it, is at the top. Keys is down the bottom right. And then your energy is at the bottom. So pick up the gold. And use that to buy it stuff, which helps for these levels, these rooms. Picking up food will replenish your health. It's just a really good game. It's really good. But this bit does go on a little bit. But at this early stage, it's not so bad. But you get lots of hazards. Good in spikes, flames, pits. Even spiders. And Ch Barry Chuckle. Shame. Yes. Rest in peace, my friend. 
Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're tuning in next week. I do it every Friday, 8 o'clock. I love it. It's the highlight of my week. Right, now I've got some money. I'm going to go and buy that bug spray and then we can beat that spider. Right, so there's no point going in there. We haven't got anything to buy. Uh, we haven't bought anything. So let's go back to the shop. Well, actually, no, I didn't go. Can't go back to the shop. You haven't seen the shop yet, but I know where the shop is. Watch out for that. I always hit that every single time I play it. Right, this should be the shop. By the bug spray. You keep onions under my pits. Well, I'm good, good for you, mate. They're no good there, though, are they? And we also need to buy the bucket. So that's all we can buy at the moment, but that's all you need for the moment. Cheggers is dead now. He didn't look old at all. What did he die of? Checkers, 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 checkers. Checkers. I can't think who Checkers is. I am excited, Anthony. I'm really excited. Right, now we have the bug spray. We need to sh shoot his head with the bug spray. But that is a big spider. Look at the size of that bad boy. The little ones, you can actually squish them. But if you take too many hits, you fail. And you have to exit the level, and then you lose a little bit of energy. But you can keep trying before you've got the energy. But every time you fail at a level, you lose a little bit of energy. Yeah, a little bit. However, I've never played it. Never played Hemdow. But yes, the, 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 the bits when you're going through the, the, the tunnels, that is a bit um, a bit repetitive. But there are lots of these, le these little screens and they are really, really good. Yes, he does eat them as well. He's dead. Oh no, is Keith Chegwin dead? I can't think. Keith Chegwin, it, it rings a bell. I can't think who he is and what he was in. Done it again, every single time. Dead already. Well, the spider's dead, his head blew up. He blew up, he dropped a, uh, a torch, and you pick up the torch. And you need the torch later on. But now we have the bucket, we can do this this screen. Because you need the bucket for this screen. Family fortune. Oh really? Oh my god. Right, so you jump onto the stones, avoiding the baddies and don't fall in the water and don't get flamed by the fire but when you get to the end no not Les Dennis surely not Les Dennis no I mean quite a few people have done family fortunes see didn't do it that time Died too many times. Liz Dennis? Can't be. Oh my god. It's quite scary, really, but the people that you, know, you used to watch in the old, when you were growing up. 
dying. It's just, it's, it's bad. Really bad. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta get to that point without getting killed with the bucket. This is how not to do it. Does this game require the FMV car on the CD32? What's that? Turn it again. You jump backwards. Top, middle, bottom? You're not talking about... You're talking about... Strike it lucky. Strike it lucky was... Um, Michael Barrymore, wasn't it? Yes, Michael Barrymore. Hotspot, the arrow, the question. Right, come on, Jamie. Third time lucky. That's what I should do. There we go. Hot spots. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Woo woo woo. Yeah. All like that. Right. It's half past eleven. It's quite late. Might end it now, guys, to be honest with you. It's going on a little bit long, and I've got to go to work tomorrow. I'm doing a 12-hour shift. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there, because it's getting on a bit late now. Um, I'm going to put on my new outro. It's, it's a little bit... It's a bit different to the old one, because some of the footage I lost... So, I'm going to end this now, and he actually does wave. He's going to wave goodbye. What work? I work. I'm working weekends. I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 6 in the morning till 6. 6 till 6, 12 hours. But I get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. Jamie, do a Strike It Lucky stream. How? How can I do a Strike It Lucky stream? Jamie, do... Not like Jamie and everyone. Uh, now, where's my lube? It's Pornhub time. Anthony, keep it clean, my friend. Right, this. <laughs> Guys, this has been absolutely brilliant. I've really enjoyed today. I've had loads of new response. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, right, so I'm going to put on the new outro uh, with the new tunes. I hope you enjoy it. He's waving goodbye. I'm waving goodbye. This video will, I hope, will upload, and if those, those of you that didn't see the whole stream, it will be there very, very soon. Probably in the morning, I imagine. Barbie at work making lipsticks. It's a fun job, but it pays well. Oi, that was 4x. Hey? Hey, hey, hey. What are we talking about here, Anthony? Be safe. You be safe. Be everyone be safe. Be good. Right. There we go. He's saying goodbye. See you next, next Friday, guys. Take it easy. Cue the new outro. Take it easy, guys. See you, bye.
hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Woohoo! This is great stuff. This is going superb. 